back everyone last time we talked to uh, Dagon uh, we actually we freed Dagon uh, he was su suspected of murder and we uh, we detected him out of it we we're playing Sherlock Holmes a bit it was kind of fun um, now we're gonna loot him for all he's worth yes give me all the loot Let's go anyways uh, and he told us that he can get us, we can, that's a whole ass dead body. Um, he told us that he can get us in to talk to the Jedi Master at the, um, at the palace. Uh, we just need to go get some hollow discs from someone at the cantina. I think it's the female tw Twi'lek, Twi'lek. She's with the Beast Gangs. And once we get him those discs, he can get us in to talk to this Jedi Master. I'm pretty sure that's the main goal right now. Who knows what's going to happen after that, though. Stick around and find out. I think it's this lady. It's not. The name is... Bakel? Female, I believe. Now yeah, we'll just look for the name. Maybe it's not a female. Definitely not Vix. He's just like swoop. You swoop. We swoop together? No. No. I don't swoop with his. I don't swing that way. Sorry, Vix. Patron, patron, all the patrons. Thug, thug. Akel. Okay, there was a guy here before. I'm pretty sure. That's why I didn't ex expect her to be here. Uh, we'll give her a chat. What do you want here, Offworlder? The room is taken. The whole cantina is taken. You should leave. Pushy, pushy. Okay. What, what you know about some hollow discs, lady, huh? Yes, you have something of my friends and I want it back. You? And just how do you intend to do that? By force. Get down. My cat is being very unruly today. She knows that she's not allowed on my desk. Anyways, um, yeah, I guess I got some credits for you. Hmm, or we can cut her down. No, I was hoping I might buy, or be, might be able to buy any hollow discs you get from his office. It isn't for sale. I warned you, Offworlder. Kill him. Okay. <clears throat> right to the killing. Okay. I like her style. Respect. Now you will die. Okay, let's follow targets here. Let's play together. Ooh, they got dual blades. A little bit intimidated. Wasn't expecting this. The last time we we figured out the hard way <laughs> that flurry is the best attack. Um, I, di I did mean to. Maybe I'll put this in my notes for tomorrow because I will be on tomorrow as well. Uh, same time, same place. 11 p.m. EST. I need to figure out if I can respec and get rid of critical attack for um. Improved flurry because flurry is as someone put it on reddit. It was like why only attack once when you can attack twice in the same swing It's very effective Ready. Auto, auto level you up What's wrong? Okay 
Does she have the hollow disks on her? She does. Encrypted hollow disks. Let's go. Um, she had a dual blade. I don't know why I thought for a second that the handmaiden can't use that. She totally can. She started out with a staff. Let's see if we can. If it's better than what she has. We got 414. Pretty sure I won that sword from a fight. Two twenty. I think I'm liking that for her. It's also an Ichani blade, which she's Ichani, so it's fitting. All right, we'll go back to Sir Gant, the Doctor Man. Give him these discs, and we can get all, get out of here. Or at least talk to um talk to our Jedi master. Tell us what the hecky heck is going on. Have you found the encrypted all of this yet? I did. I won't be able to get all of my contact from the palace without it. They're yeah, right here, good sir. Great, go in there. With these, I'll check my contacts at the palace. I should be able to get a meeting with your Jedi Master shortly. You got anything you need to take care of in the quarter? You best do it now. You're dealing with serious politics by contacting him. If things go bad during a meeting, you may not be well. Extreme politics. <laughs> Just let me know if you want to go through with this. Now, let me see what I, what side quests I have to do. If any. I don't think I do. Uh, there's more people looking for visas. Eh. And so we gave we gave a, a visa that we paid for. We paid for a um Basically fake papers for some lady because she was trading a uh, very rare lightsaber crystal. We have to remember to use that at some point. You put both of those down. Don't forget this stiff. So respec. Respec. And crystal. Rare, rare crystal. Actually, no, that's right. I'm pretty sure it's just in another lightsaber and I didn't really like the color of it. It's just like an orange. It's it's interesting. It's rare. Doesn't mean it's good or I like it, you know? Anyways, trouble with Canox. That was back on the Mandalorian moon. Okay, I don't think we have any other side quests to worry about. So you still move on. To go through with it. I can schedule the meeting with your Jedi Master as soon as you like. Like I was saying. Do it now. Yeah, yeah, I'll get on it. Just grab a cot and rest a bit. Once I get a meeting time, I'll let yeah, you Yeah, just take a, take a nap next to the rotting corpse. Okay. Is this meeting a trap? I can't afford to lose you, especially given recent events. Anything could be a trap. Vaclu is no fool. But if the message is true... Is this necessary? I can guarantee your safety in the palace, but outside these walls, the general has many men that would do anything for him. Nothing in life is certain, Your Majesty, but I feel something. There is a disruption in the force. I must investigate this. Very well, but please be cautious. Aren't I always? Sneaky, sneaky. I was afraid you'd say. I'm not really sure the dynamic of what's happening with the politics right now, but it's straight to the cantina. You guys should be in there. And uh, no offense, but I hope I never see you again. Hey, same to you. You bald bastard. You must have gone through a lot to arrange this meeting. The palace is a full battle readiness. Smuggling in a message is no small task. Sir, you're holding your lightsaber in your hand. I mean, I know I am too. <laughs> But we're supposed to be hiding, aren't we? Pretty sure. 
People are trying to kill us, damn it. I have my ways. Not Revan, who would lead the Jedi against us during the Mandalorian Wars. I wonder how we'd have fared against you. I thought you were killed fighting Malak during the Jedi Civil War. It seems my former student keeps curious company. Strange times lead to strange alliances, though. I have my ways as well. Why are you here? I imagine that you hold little love for any on the Jedi Council anymore. Even an old friend. Uh, none of your business. I just need information from you, obviously. Rude. Didn't expect you to turn on me, too. Yeah, ever, ever think of that? You have to understand that it was a time of great uncertainty. We just learned that Darth Revan was back with an Excuses, Every excuses. Jedi that went with him was lost, corrupted, and as dark as their master. And then there was you. Many thought you were a spy, but there's more to it than that. And I think you deserve an expert. Am I interrupting? In orbit, I thought for a sure bit, yeah, actually. Was mine. I was certain, only to see you slip through my fingers during the battle. Imagine my delight to discover you were on Isis. Quite careless, if you ask me. Get them, men, and watch your aim. Civilian casualties cause a mess of paperwork. Alrighty. I'll get word to you when I'm able. Run. What? What have you done to my men? Lost. Hmm. Men, take care of him. I won't let Kamara like force escape. stun them. We must prevent the civilians here from coming to harm by our battle. Damn. So we can just not care about the civilians, just like. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Just be like a blender with our lightsaber, just cut everything around us. No, obviously, of course, of course. We will be... Sorry, something's like poking me. My, my pajama pants. I'm being attacked. Hopefully it's not a bug or something. I'm like itchy now. Uncomfortable. Okay. Time to die. Okay, sorry, not you. Right now, because my teammate is trying to fight something else. Oh my knee. Are you gonna help me out now? Fog. Well, he... I don't think I'm gonna get a heal off, but man... Mando? Mandalore. Almost dead. Stay alive! Be alive! He has so much health, my heals aren't doing much. I need that improved heal. We should get it sometime soon here. Okay, we'll save the rest of our healing... He thinks. Ah, well, we had one more in the queue. We need Kira back, but we can't have. We have to have Mandalore here, so. It's not that bad. Not that big a deal. We will somehow survive. Alright. Now what? Homie ran away, didn't he? Need to find that Jedi Master. We could only find our way out of this... This place. Okay. Those people were run running away from me. They were trying to escape my wrath. They did not make it. Commander. Oh shit, okay. Y'all want more? You didn't have enough? 
Send more people after me? Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, I think there's like something, I don't know. Maybe ha I'm having a ingrown hair situation? My calf? Very itchy. I do need to respray my apartment. Because I, I, I had a... Uh, I had a spider on my ceiling after I sprayed before, but my dad told me I sprayed wrong, like with the bug barrier stuff. So I sprayed my vents and like the openings, just everything. Just so things get in right. <laughs> but apparently that's not the way to do it. I mean, you can do that as well, but I guess you're supposed to just, like spray along all your walls in the entrance. I did not spray along my walls. I guess that's what the professionals do. Oh shit, okay. Well, go ahead and level up, see if we can't get that improved heal, because Handmaiden is almost dead. Uh, but we'll do tree injury. We need demolitions up. Uh, more than security? I don't know. Probably not. Over computer use, though, I think. Yes. Or persuade. Yeah, persuade can get us out of fights. I, I just want demolitions to pick up mines, because I really like picking them up. <laughs> Hours, not yet. We gotta be level 18. What level are. Well, I don't even know what level we are, to be honest. To be quite honest, no idea. Restricted by armor, by armor, restricted by armor. We can upgrade this. Probably will do that. Restricted by armor. Their own health to fuel force powers. Uh, actually, I guess that could come in handy. Like if I'm full health, but I need more, uh, more healing. So yeah, we might do that. Stun, no. Stun droid, no. Wound, no. I don't really like the force attacks, to be honest. Because the combat system is kind of tedious if you want to use a bunch of stuff. A bunch of different attacks outside of like the three. Well, really just two. Because you have your main attack and then the, um, like you, your melee attacks and then you have your, uh, your force attacks and you can have one of each otherwise you have to like scroll through i swear i remembered this game or the first one being like more you had like an action bar like a mmo but maybe there's a mod or something that would be cool mind trick no okay we're gonna do that force drain i think or force body it sounds useful okay Let's stop fighting and try to save our homie. Just barely. Let her fight. Yeah, okay, if we have to fight, if we have to heal again, we'll try the force uh, body thing. Might come in handy. Get a bit extra force. Ooh, Ichani light armor. Sonic blaster. Okay. Let's see what this is all about. Maybe she's Ichani and gets more. Not really. Can Mandalore use this blaster? What's he got right now? 212? Surely we can bump that up, right? 212. 214, yes. That was the sonic rifle. Three twelve. Even better. 
Four twelve. Oh, okay. Four twelve. What was that? Arcani Arcanian Sonic Blaster. Yeah, we'll do that. Seems very pog. <laughs> it's like a little phaser from uh, Star Trek or something. That's funny. I'm here. Very funny. Damn, your health comes back so slowly. Why? Okay, so it pulled us in this direction. I'll finish looting. Combat Enforcer. Damn it, now I gotta try it. We'll just see. Specifically, Combat Enforcer. 212. New. Shit, did it? Uh, no, okay. Sometimes it equips it when I don't mean it to. Yes. No! Handmaiden, actually. Didn't want to talk to you. Crazy concept. And there's so much to loot! Shield, we don't use those. Okay. But yeah, so attackers came from this direction. Let's... Ooh, more remains? I don't even know what I got there. I didn't want to talk to you. That's what I wanted. <laughs> I... <clears throat> Is there more remains? Jesus. All the credits. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give me all of them. Both of them. All of them. Aw, oh, shit. We'll be out full, full, um, force almost, so we're good. Bing, 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 bing. How do you like being a f fucking pinball table? It's gotta not feel great. Especially when you're. <laughs> You're being sliced up by a lightsaber. Losing chunks of your flesh. It's gotta be kind of painful, I imagine. So much fun for me, though. Is that fucked up? Probably. Give me all your loot! Yes, give it to me. Gloves, Bothan. Bothan, Bothan. Gloves. So we have three defense. That's confusing. Okay. I think fortitude might be equal to defense. Hmm. This has. But it has immunity to like slashing, so yeah, she can wear those. Okay. Onward. I think the only way to go is this way. I think these, the Jedi guy is trying to run off the station. I think. What? What's happening in the We're West back Square? to the temple. It sounded like battle. At least. The man's ordered com block out. Do you know what's going on? I have no idea what you're talking about. I didn't just murder like, I don't know, ten people. <laughs> Why aren't you shooting at me? Everyone I've seen recently is shooting at me. Scarred. Huh? Yeah, Vakul's soldiers have been attacking me. What? Why? That makes no sense. Command hasn't issued any alerts. Are you sure it wasn't some of those Beast Rider slags? They've been getting bolder recently. Yep, uh, I, I definitely recognize their uniforms. Yeah, it's broad daylight. They're wearing uniforms. What do you mean? You, you must be mistaken. Soldiers just don't attack civilians without orders. If it weren't for the comm blackout, I'd check with command. Just head to the safety of the Merchant Square, citizen. We'll send a patrol to investigate as soon as we can contact our HQ. Not all the military is after us. Still, Vaklu can throw a whole army at us. I think we've outworn our welcome over here. We should head over to the spaceport before General Vaklu invents some charges against us. Then we'd be in real trouble. To the spaceport! <laughs> 
Where's the spaceport? <laughs> okay, it's on the other side of this. Do -do -do -do. Let's try not to get arrested on the way. Let's do it. Get him. Shit, I heard someone say let's Diagnostic is doing something Son of a bitch. strange. Target acquired. What the hell does that mean? Oh shit. We're gonna get shot at? A turrets? How do I defend against turrets? Son of a bitch. Oh my god, they were like fucking CIA motherfuckers. Hiding in plain sight. Looking like God goddamn citizens. I can't believe this. Can't believe they've done this. Simply cannot. How dare they? Well, they have some decency. Clearly not. Alright, why am I just standing here? I definitely did some attacks. I think Handmaiden immediately killed what I was trying to attack. Like a fucking boss. Look at her go. Jumping and shit. Oh my god. Everyone's fucking dead. There's so much blood. Carbine. That sounds cool. Is it for you? Is it the one? 527. Hell yes it is. Jesus Christ. That's the largest attack I've seen so far. It looks cool. Ooh. It does look cool. Like a... It's an integral, integral scope. It's like built into the gun. Very cool. What else these guys got? Okay, some repair. Anything for me? No? Fuck off. Alright. Turret time. Let's see how evil these are here. Ah, oh, they're not. They're kind of chumps. Turns out, actually. Fuck it up, handmaiden. Get that one. That's really probably how we should be doing this. One of us attack. One of each. Shit, are the ones up there attacking me too? Am I gonna have to throw? Or they're gonna get shot down, probably. We'll, we'll give it a throw. Can we attack it from down here? This has been scanned. You're cleared to leave. I'd leave right away. Things are going crazy in the <laughs> You don't say. At least we don't have to fight them. Okay, definitely attack this, please. Yeah, we, we have to throw. It's gonna kill us! Maybe we just could have ran, but whatever. Whatever. Goodbye. Blasted planet. The shuttle is just ahead. I think we should get out of here fast. It's gonna be some time before they forget about us here. No more trips to Wyoming oh, you think? until the situation changes. A lot. A lot. Yes. Um yes, I think we gotta go this way. There's our shuttle for sure. Ooh, there's some... Hold on. Hold on a minute. There's some loot. I have a feeling they're gonna hide, like, the best armor in the game in one of these hangars. <laughs> Places that you would not expect to find loot. Yes, yeah, so let's go back to... Was it Duck? Ducks, is that how you say it? Dune? Done? Something like that? Return to done. Mm, yes. I don't know why I thought the ship was going to take off the other direction. It just looks like the front of it. Even though there's... I'm stupid. There's like a big bright light that's obviously the... the propellant. The... the 
engines, the jets, you know? The whooshy whooshy thing makes it go vroom. And whoosh. Whoosh. We're whoosh. back. What? The shuttle is going to stay docked here until further notice. I'm not ready to part company yet. It sounds like you have a lot of traveling to do. So do I. I'm going with you. The Sith have taken a particular interest in you, and you can use an extra blaster. I've been meaning to leave Duxon to look for other Mandalorian clans anyway. Uh, and who exactly said that you could come with me? You're just assuming, inviting yourself? Rude. Hmm. It's a bit altruistic, isn't it? I didn't know you had that in you. I don't have it in me. It's a matter of self-interest. The Sith aren't known for sharing power. If the Jedi Order is destroyed for good, it's inevitable that the Sith will dominate the Republic. And then my people will be eradicated or enslaved. Helping your cause is a matter of necessity. Mandalorians helped Exar Kun during his war. We know firsthand how we fare in the service of their like. But that's enough for now. We'll have time to talk later. The Ebonhawk is patched up and ready to go. When you're ready to depart, we can ask the guide here to take us back to the ship. Alrighty then. Uh, yeah, I should be ready to go. I don't think we have anything else to do here. You loot again? No, we've already looted this. Right? I don't think we, maybe we didn't get these. We did. Such a little loot goblin. They fucking love it, especially because this doesn't have. Um, yeah, there's no loot limit. And he, wait, he can send me to the Evan Hawk or who? Who am I talking to? Maybe it says in. My quest? Yeah. We'll look for someone important. I know that there was a Mandalorian dude. Some remains? Did someone die? Oh yeah, I guess someone did. There was like a battle here. Let's see what this guy has to say. Fair enough. He seems to not be the guy we need to talk to. It's worth telling him goodbye, though. I mean, I don't know. We might come back here. The Sith do know of this place, though. Oh, what the fuck? Exactly. They're still, they're still here. There's a whole line of them. Jesus Christ. Guys, better perimeter checks. You, you know? Is it too much to ask? Fucking... Sith Assassin's trying to get my ass. Hey, thank you for the follow, Zora. Thank you. Welcome in. Welcome to the Wolf Pop. How you doing today? I'm just fucking up some Sith Assassin's. Assassin's. Because they decided day they chose death, you know? It's one of those days. Um... Troll guard. Is this guy I talked to? No. Just gotta get back to our ship. I'm not sure who we talked to for that. Basking in the power of the dark side. Nice. Are you also playing this game right now? Are you? Do you have me second monitored and you're playing this? Hog? Thank you. Either way. Um, nah, okay. How do I leave? <laughs> in life in general, no. 
Well, hopefully, hopefully, you don't get in too much trouble. Don't do, don't do something completely heinous, okay? I know that there's like a, he said to talk to somebody. You take me straight to your camp? I mean, if anything, it's just going to take me back there. Yeah. Damn it! I know- I know what- Fucking add-on came and yelled at me and told me to talk to someone to teleport me back to the ship. We might just have to run there. You didn't have an option. No. Weird. Huh? 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 Y'all are no help. Okay, we'll just hoof it. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not even upset. You know? It's nice to look at the scenery. Is this the right way? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. What's, um... What's the, what's the most recent dark side shenanigan there? Zora. Or is it is it top secret? Real hush-hush. I'm going in circles. You're just kidding. You're a good guy. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, I try to be. I try to be. Hopefully we can get off this planet. Get on with the story. This is a moon, actually. Get on with the story. I realized that this is, so far, I think my longest playthrough. So. Clap, clap, clap. Claps for me. This game is so chill, like I didn't even realize, really. It's so easy play. Easy playing, you know? I don't know, pretty much auto attack, for the most part. Jesus, this is way further than I thought. Oh yeah, we couldn't blow this guy up. We blew up the- so there's all these remote droids, but we couldn't blow them all up. I don't know why. Repair it. Reactivate. Uh... No, we're leaving. Don't see why we would do that. Just spooky. Spooky kinda. I don't know why those are there. If anyone does know, let me know. Am I missing something? Am I missing the best item in the game? Probably. It's how I always feel. That's why I loot absolutely everything. I could I can find anyways. We've already scoured through this whole place though. Just gotta get back to the ship. Do you have force speed? I can't use it though. Unfortunately. Cause I'm too I'm too strong. Simply too strong. At least my ar my armor is too heavy. Blocks the connection to the force. But I need it because this game is hard as fuck. <laughs> At least semi-challenging, which is expert level hard to me. So we gotta do what we gotta do. Hey, there she is. That she blows. Fuck yeah. It's you, you bastard. 
He can teleport me back to their camp, but he can't. Someone couldn't bring me here. Oh well, we're here. We made it. Yeah, oh, what's happening? Something's suspicious. I'm scared. Fuck. It's a whole ass Sith apprentice. Prepare to defend yourself, Assassin. Um, maybe she could be nice. Yeah, what have you done with my crew? They're all dead, aren't they? Oh, not much to talk, huh? Not, not much of a talker. Turns out. That's alright. Flurry to death! Shit. Ooh, you know what? I think this is our first lightsaber and lightsaber fight. This is very cool. Wah, 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 wah. Did I die? My lightsaber. You've destroyed it. <gasps> I yield. Master. Pog? It is as I heard through Smart moves. Moves. My life. We slice her lightsaber. This is on easy. There is such a thing. I always play on the lowest difficult difficulty because I'm actually ass at the game. As you saw, I almost died and didn't realize it. <laughs> um my life for yours. Can we turn her? Should we turn her to the light? I think we should try. You pledge yourself to me? Question mark. I have nothing to offer you. Your strength is superior. You're so strong. Oh shit. She did. She passed out. Fuck. Well. Now I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. The hecky heckle is that? What is that, Miraluka? Yeah, they're a pretty secretive race. I heard that some of their kind become Jedi, but a Sith? That's, well, that's a new one. I'm not sure how you'd go about killing one. It'd be tricky. Well, turns out you just slice their lightsaber and then they just immediately die, so. Or they get really weak. It's a secret. Will she recover? I've used this of this one. Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover, yeah. Shit, yeah. You know what I just realized? We, we're about to be able to have a full party of force wielders and or lightsaber wielders, I think. If we get to bring this lady with us, that'd be very good. Very cool. The aesthetics, 10 out of 10. Yes, let me know when she awakens. I have some questions. Say the least. To us. Yes, possible. Possible threat.
I trust her more than I trust you. I don't think so. Nope. But she could be useful for sure. We're not going to kill her yet. I am not asking that she be harmed or interrogated, but she is of the Sith, and she has attacked us once. You know who else is a Sith? Kira. Mm. Well, she doesn't like... <laughs> the Handmaiden doesn't like Kira either, so... Yeah, there's that. Alright, um... Now what? I think we have to go to the next planet, no? Yeah, I think so. Let's do that. Uh, is it this way? Have I learned my ship yet? Probably not. Nope! That's Kira. God damn it. Fuck! <laughs> yes. So we've been to... Ragus, Telos... Dux. I think we were headed to Onderon. Did we make it there? Was it I Isis? Is this? Spaceport? Yes. Yes, we've been there. Narshada. I think we're saving Dantooine. We yeah, we definitely went to Dantooine already. Uh, let's go Corban. Let's fucking take on some Sith. Pretty sure. It's like the OG Sith Academy. Corban. Yeah, I want to save Narshada for the last because I really like the downtown, like New York style cities in Star Wars. I think they look really cool. What's your guys' favorite planet? It's a bit of an odd question, but I mean, do you prefer like a forest planet, a desert planet, like this one, a, uh, this is really ominous. Or like a city, city planet, like uh, Coruscant or Narshada. I don't know, I just, the vibe, the vibe of like Narshada. We've hit the ground. This is Coruscant cool, just feels cool. Why would one of the Jedi you're looking for come here? It seems quiet, just the wind. But deep beneath the surface, you can feel the pain of what took place here. There is great power in this place, for those who can hear its call. She's awake! There is much that would draw a Jedi to this place. The resting grounds of the ancient and more recently departed... Does that mean we can take her with us? ...chain many teachings believed lost. The most likely place to find our lost Jedi is the ruins of the old academy. My thoughts exactly. It's the last place someone would expect a Jedi to be. In the origins of the Sith. Very clever. Like Dantooine and Narshada. Yeah, Dantooine, I believe, is like uh, grasslands or like, you know, classic like foresty area. Yeah, they're both both very like lush in their own way. Where like Narshada is like really compact and lots of lights and stuff. And Dantooine's more of, you know, like a natural feel. Yeah. Yeah, definitely one of those. Desert? I don't know. Do people like deserts? Do people, would people want to live in the desert over a lush environment I, I do I don't don't get it I feel like the only people that live in the desert like don't have a choice about it or some other circumstance makes them live there I, I don't know prove me wrong hate the desert me too <laughs> can fuck right off I am from the Midwest so I really love the cold over overheat but if, if i have to have heat it needs to be dry heat way easier to deal with than humidity Ugh. gross like you're living in soup you feel like a whole ass chicken noodle soup it's gross 
You think there's living Sith here? As lifeless as it seems, the dark side is very strong here. The Sith Lords hmm. would not ignore such a powerful place. There is much that can be learned, even here. Yes, as I suspected. What happened here? I'm, I'm, I am curious. It was said that Revan intended to return to Coravan to subdue any potential Sith insurgents, but Revan disappeared. It took a year or two for the Republic to send a force here to deal with any Sith that may have remained. They found Coraban much as we have, barren and lifeless. It was assumed that the remnants of the Sith turned on each other, vying for what little power remained. The Republic found evidence that several Sith Lords escaped Coraban, fleeing to remote sections of the galaxy. Um, it is... Uh, it's heavy armor, both... I don't know. I guess the face, the face, it, or the, the the helms don't have like armor type. But uh, if you're asking about the specific piece, I'll get the name for you in a second. Do you like it? It's kind of cool. It's like silver and gold. Kind of goes well with my lightsaber, I think. The green. I don't know. All right, all right let's head out. If you walk Coraban surface. You shall walk it without me. The suit? Yeah, the suit is heavy armor. Let me know if you need the actual name of it. The name of the piece of armor. I'll, I'll get it for you after this conversation. Damn it, Kira. Why won't you come with me? I need your heels. Your automatic heels, please. I don't want your company anyway. I cannot. This place is strong with the dark side. It is difficult to center myself here. Coraban holds few secrets from me, but much that you should learn. Fair enough. Yeah, if you just want to be a wuss and stay on the ship, I mean, oh, by all means. I'm not afraid. Yeah. Stop being such a wuss. I'm not even afraid. Perhaps not. But I would caution you to guard your feelings carefully here. Coraban attacks the spirit and the body, and there have been few who can fight its power. Damn, so I have to say one of these. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, keep the engines primed so we can make a fast exit. I will remain here and meditate. Our link remains i shall contact you and provide guidance when needed the academy is on the other side of this valley be careful dark energy fills these rooms yeah 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 and very powerful sith energies live still. you said that like three times i get it uh armor mandalorian heavy armor that's what i got fit check Work it, work it. Yes. Look at us. Look at us go. Fuck yeah. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go kill some Sith, huh? That's not the way. Thank you. I do like it. I'm not wearing it for the fashion, though. Believe it or not. It is just the highest defense. Okay. Uh, Yeah, we'll definitely take these two. Maybe she can heal us. I like the um I like the melee characters cuz I get to see them, you know. Being a melee character myself, which I'm not sure who was talking about it, but they were doing a are the plundered tombs of the ancient Sith lords. Doing a ranged playthrough, which sounds interesting. Not sure if that would be for me, but I have to try it next playthrough. Even the many traps could not long hold back the curious, the fools, and the weak. Mm, curious. So these tombs fell, spilling their secrets into the hands of those unable to comprehend or preserve them. Yes. See what you got. Do you have? Hmm. We'll auto level her up. 
She level 15, so she should have gotten some stuff. Yeah, she's got heal. Make sure she's in a support role. Yes, yes. Do you have the best she in? Forms we got Mak Makashashi. Chicho. I think Chicho's probably pretty good. Maybe we throw some armors on her. What's her name, by the way? Visas. Visas. Nice. Oh, cool. Cool name. Um, but, um, I throw a neural band on her. Yeah, some will. I think will increases your your force, which she's gonna be using a lot of. Yeah, you can take that. Whatever the highest defense or dexterity. Fortitude plus two, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can take that. Shields, we don't use them. I don't think that it's gonna... She is blind. <laughs> yes, I believe so. I'm not sure why. I'm assuming it's some sort of um, tradition. Maybe she was born that way? I don't know. Let me know if you know. I'm assuming it's a cultural thing. Anyways, um, Constitution plus one. You like the lore behind her character? I'm intrigued. Please feel free to enlighten me. Um, Defense one and what's this? Constitution. Yeah, it's kind of basically that. And it has two other stats. We'll throw that on, our, on her. I don't think it's going to change her appearance, though. Fortitude and strength. Yes, please. Weapon. Got 220, 216. What she have right now? How she not have a lightsaber? I mean, she owns a lightsaber. Short lightsaber. What? Is that for like dual, dual wielding? Interesting. I'll just throw that on just to see what it looks like. These are, these are 220, but I'm intrigued. That about. Mm, it's not that much shorter. The other one does more damage. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, they use the force to see. Okay, that is pretty cool. So we'll just give her this one. Well. Yeah, I guess it is like a foot shorter, the short one, but this one does more damage. That's all, all we're really concerned about. I don't even care what color it is, to be honest. So I'm not using that shit. The broken corpses before you are all that remain of the Sith on Korriban. I doubt there is much to be gained from looting these bodies. It would be best to leave them be. You don't say. You've disturbed the spirits of this place, and they have sent their guardians. Shit. I'm not concerned. Bring them on. I'm gonna loot the shit out of this place and kill everything, so let's go. Hisses are enough to humble even an arrogant one such as you. Test yourself if you must, but try not to die. Yeah, you don't say. Um... Yeah, I was planning on trying to die, but I mean, since you said it, I'm not gonna die. Shit. Watch, she's just like one shot me. Why did it. Why did their camo look like, uh. Like it was me mechanical? Like it did like a little spark. Yeah, it like sparks. Are they using. Stealth belts? Is his? Or do they have opposable thumbs? Can they? Are they capable of this? I'm confused. I'm a, I'm confused and slightly aroused. Is that weird.
Fuck. Okay. Well, she's out of she's out of health. I can't blame her. Out of force, anyways. Don't die. Choose life. Okay. We're wasting our force now because they're dead. Nothing. So is it gonna spawn three of these boys every time I loot something? Are we good now? I think it did spawn something. <laughs> Worth it. Interesting. I guess I never considered that, that beasts could also use the force. Weird. It's pretty weird. Uh, okay. Three defense. I don't know what, what what I've got here. The dark side has corrupted them. Nice. Defense three. Dexterity two. Same thing. I think we're good. Uh, but handmaiden can probably wear it. Yes. Can she use lightsabers? She cannot, right? Yeah, she can't. Okay. Yep, every single time we loot. It's alright, we just gotta be ready. There gonna be three every time? There's two at least. Make sure we heal our healer here. She is out of... She is dead now. Okay. This was unsuccessful! Let me know if I'm wasting my time killing these people. I don't think so, because I just got some... Upgrade... An upgrade on my, uh... My gloves there. For the Handmaiden. Is it worth killing all these people? I think so. You can't loot them, though. N not people, anyways. Um. What's up with the health regen, by the way? I feel like it was much faster earlier in the game. Maybe that's the, that's just it. Maybe it's a uh... damn. Fuck it. I'm gonna do it. Bring it on. She's gonna die anyways, right? I guess I can try to heal her. Yeah, uh, it's fine. I think we have this. Just me and the me and the handmaiden, Han Madan. That's a pretty cool. That's a cool pause. Nice streak on my saber there. Who are you fighting, handmaiden? I can't see them. Okay, there we go. Also, is he what the heck is Handmaiden's name? Does anyone know? I need to know because it, uh, it's annoying. There's a mod to fix v Visa's lightsaber. To remind her of the failure complete with dialogue. Oh, 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 you can fix her lightsaber and give it back to her. Just to spite her, huh? That's fucked up. Is that is that the restored content mod? I realized that I should have done that before I started playing. Yes, yes, yes. Done did sliced her lightsaber. I, I believe that's what happened anyway. Get up! There you go. Nothing. Shit. If I keep touching them, do they just spawn? Even if there's no loot?
Well, I mean, so I was, I was going to say, I, I, I realized I should have done the restored content mod before I started playing the game. Because I can't add it now, and I don't have it on, if you're wondering. So this is completely vanilla, unfortunately. Maybe I'll have to come back. So I do, I do plan on no promises if it's going to be within like the next five years. <laughs> At some point, I will replay this. I will return to the world. A fierce Sith Lord. According to legend, the blade proved more fearsome than the master, leading to his demise. Tell me more. A Junta's dark specter lived on through the centuries until Revan entered the Sith Lord's tomb in search of the blade. Revan calmed the angry ghost of a Junta Paul and showed him the path back to the light. Mm, yes, tell me more of the blade. I need the blade in my life. Unknown. Some have suggested that the blade led to Revan's demise, as it did a Junta Paul. That is only speculation, however. Where Revan wanders now is knowledge that only Revan holds. Maybe we just have to find Revan, huh? That'd be, that'd be freaking neat. Revan's probably one of the coolest characters in Star Wars lore, I think. Most intriguing, for sure. Here, you can just barely see the Sith archaeologists' efforts to uncover relics of the ancients. Enough of this history. Be silent. No, I want to know. The new Sith Order sought to progress quickly by finding objects of power. I can only imagine what was lost forever due to the carelessness of these excavators. Now the excavation has been almost completely undone by five years of wind and sand. So does Korriban protect its secrets. Interesting. Anyways, uh, yes, I will. I will be replaying this at some point, and maybe I'll do a ranged build. Probably not, unless I don't know. But I will be doing an evil playthrough when I play it again, for sure. It's a lot of really good options I've seen so far, or at least interesting options. Not that it's like a good thing to do by any means. They're awful things to do, <laughs> but it'd be it'd be interesting, at least. You know what? I don't give a fuck what Disney has to say. I can't just erase erase events from the world or characters that people have created that were at one time canon I mean it's still canon you can just just destroy all this stuff you know responsible for nearly conquering the Republic in the great hyperspace war a millennia ago tell me more yes more recently this tomb was where Revan confronted Uthar Vin, the leader of the Sith Academy. When Revan left Korriban, the Sith Academy was thrown into turmoil. With their leader gone, many fought for the right to rule. And so, the Sith here turned on each other, resulting in the carnage you can see covering the surface of this valley. Yeah, I, I, I still, yeah. I, I, it doesn't matter to me if they or if they say that stuff doesn't exist. Like, fuck you. It it existed. It's canon to me and a lot of people. Oh shit, this is another one that we didn't loot. We almost have full health, so we're, I think we're good. Let me make sure. I think we got all these corpses. Let's get this last one and then we'll start exploring. I think we can go inside over here? Or we can go up this way? I do want to go... No, which, which way should we go? Should we go inside or should we go through that archway? I think that's the only ways we can go. All these other ways are blocked off.
Chris Bonilla, bon, bon, I don't know how to say that name, was deleted from wrestling history? I'm gonna have to look this guy up. Give me a second here. Do that. I'm intrigued. Benoit? Chris Benoit? What? What the fuck? What do you mean? Did he did he get canceled? Is that why? How do you just what? I remember Chris Benoit. I don't know what he looks like. I'm just gonna. Benoit. Yeah, I mean, I definitely remember the name. I don't remember what he looks like. This is the man that you speak of, I believe. What happened to him, I guess. It's the title. Oh shit, he mur is it murder-suicide? What? What? Should we watch a video about it? I'm intrigued. Let me know. We could definitely do that. Was that a yes for the video? Give me a double yes. Two yeses are required. I'm not sure if that's what you're talking about or not. No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Die, you foul beast. Yeah, what the fuck? Murder, suicide. So, because of that, they just erased him from the lore of wrestling? Oh, fuck. Doesn't seem quite right. You ask me. Handmaiden, why aren't you getting any of my healing? What the fuck is this? What the fuck? There we go. Please, please stay alive. Fuck. I should have used healing. I have a bunch of stuff. I have a bunch of he healing packs, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Nobody panic. They're all still alive, which is not great. Yeah, was it so? Was it? It was like a PR, PR move to. Shit, we're about to die. Oh. We'll try to heal, all we can. It's not working. Ooh, okay, I think we're getting interrupted. Maybe. Okay. Well, we're out of force completely with everyone. I think normal med packs don't really work on us anymore. Let's go for the advance. That advanced that GG though. That good shit. Yeah. Now we're talking. What you gonna do now? Hiss hiss. What kind of name is that? Doesn't seem that doesn't seem right though. Like, why? I mean, it happened. You can't, like, say it didn't happen. It's weird. It's weird, man. I guess we can't go in there. For some reason, it to me, it looked like a ramp. But it's blocked off. Can we go in there if we walk up to them close enough? I don't think so, because they're... Before you no. is the tomb of the great Sith Lord, Mark you already hear this one? A half-breed who possessed tremendous strength, both physically and in the Force. Tell me more. I can't remember if we did or not. Magnus held power for over a century, using his cunning to turn his enemies against each other. His death left a great vacuum of power. We're standing close to the spot where Naga Sadao first confronted Ludo Kresh to vie for domination of the Sith. 
their struggle nearly resulted in a civil war that would have torn the Sith apart before they ever threatened the Republic. Hmm, yes. Civil war is common among the Sith, I see. Yes, it is the way of the Sith. They must continually test their strength against each other. Yeah, they're always trying to kill their masters and shit. Why am I not surprised? It's so what happened between Sato and Kresh. As fate would have it, a pair of hyperspace explorers from Sinagar landed on Korriban. Naga Sadao manipulated the Sith into believing they were a sign of impending Republic invasion. This fear resonated with many Sith who were discontent with the lack of expansion of the Sith Empire during the reign of Marka Ragnos. Thus, Naga Sadao became Ragnos' successor. Yeah, that's true. That, yeah, if you back in the day, if you talked bad about the church, you'd just die or you'd be killed. You know, but uh, it's partly not that that happens today. That's partly why, like religion in general, kind of scares me. And I'm not religious. Go figure. Oh yeah, I wanted to see if we can walk in here. If it does, it just. Prompt. Okay, there's corpses to be looted. There's loot to be had. Maybe I'll check check all the doors. Make sure we get all the lore and the loot. Today is the same thing. You get cancelled if you talk against the church? I don't think that's true. If so, I mean, I guess I'm cancelled, huh? <laughs> I don't know, fuck them, man. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I do not agree with most religious beliefs. Whoever has the power against the narrative. Nah, dude, fuck the man. Big time. Especially, I mean, I don't really want to get into it that much unless... You guys do, but uh, like, fucking Roe v. Wade, man. Fuck that shit. The fuck is that? This is the tomb of Tulak Horde, known as the greatest lightsaber duelist of the Sith Lords. Like, if we can't have control over our own bodies, the fuck are we doing? The power being threatened. How do you spell threat? I don't know. I'm a terrible speller. Are you saying the power is being threatened by women being able to get abortions? <laughs> is that what this is about? So that makes no fucking sense. Sorry. I don't think you're actually saying that. I'm just... Thoughts. I don't know. Tell me more. His skill was considered remarkable even in his time when many true lightsaber masters lived. I know I've I've heard people saying that it's not about lives, it's about control. Which is super fucked up. If that I mean You know, I was talking to my grandma. I guess she's for it. She's for Abortion being illegal. Which I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of get it. Because like she didn't grow up in the same era as I, I did or like a lot of other people. But she at least said that she can see the good sides of being able to have an abortion. But yeah. I think it's definitely not good. <laughs> I, I think I think you should be able to do what you will 
with your own body. The government shouldn't have a say in that at all. I mean, we are a free country, right? The more... The more I learn about the government as I get older, because I used to not really care about it. The more I realize it is... We are not free. By any means. At all. What? Is she saying that modern Jedi are shit lightsaber swordsmen? If you were to face an ancient Sith Lord in combat, you would learn that we are as children playing with toys compared to the Yo. of the old masters. Yes. <laughs> I am I am very convinced that we are also in the Matrix. If uh, you have not seen We are in the beach. Yes. If you haven't seen, um, I have a YouTube video. Um, let me know if you've seen it already. But I have a YouTube video about Mandela effects. Like, new Mandela effects. Fucking creepy, dude. Like, that, and then just the fact that we're very close currently to being able to create a simulation that is lifelike. So what's to say that some other civilization in the far future didn't create our existence as we know it? And the likelihood of that is, like, very, very high. Because you would, um... You'd be able to, like, test a bunch of stuff. Like, fuck, COVID, right? To see how the world would react to that. And, like, you could run it over and over and try to f figure out ways to stop stuff from happening or it's just like a very big social experiment lots of practical reasons that you would create a simulation of life and like i said we're we're already pretty close to doing that so i don't doubt that that is a, a possibility and a lot of the leading minds like um People much smarter than me, <laughs> like Elon Musk and I believe Neil deGrasse Tyson, uh, they all believe that that is a high possibility. <laughs> yeah, could be a simulation because they, they like put prisoners in or shit. This might be hell. We might be in hell. <laughs> I, I, I often think of that whenever I have struggles in life but uh, yeah if you haven't seen like the good place that's that's where my head's at as far as like this possibly being hell I mean my life is not that bad compared to a lot of people but yeah I could definitely see how some people's existence is uh, actual living hell Anyways, uh, so like, what made these Sith so good back in the day? That is unknown, but supposedly he created a holocaust. Do you like? Do you like the good place? I thought it was cool. It's interesting. Would have been laid to rest in his tomb. Unfortunately, Tulak Horde's tomb was among the first penetrated by Tulak the Horde. of the new Sith Order. If the holocron has survived, I doubt anyone living would know its location. Yeah, I stopped watching it. It, it. it drug on a bit. But I do really like the main actress, Kristen Bell. Even though she's kind of weird. <laughs> like, her and Dax Shepard, her husband. They do a lot of, like, publicity stunts. I've heard of, anyways. She's very pretty, though. And very funny. And she can sing. Is she sang in Frozen? She played the sister of Elsa, I'm pretty sure. Very impressive indeed. But I think, um, I can't remember what, what this scandal was. It was something with her kids, I think. Which is even worse, like, why would you bring your kids into this? Wait, did I? I didn't. 
I purposely didn't loot this corpse over here because I was waiting for us to heal while I rambled. Let's let's get that loot. Oh no! What well, what would happen if nobody cared about you anymore? Let me exploit my children. Fuck right off. The narcissism drives them. Yeah, some of them. There's de there's definitely some seemingly really good actors and like quote unquote famous people, or at least one. Keanu Reeves, come on. I mean, maybe he does some fucked up shit that we don't know about, but the guy's life is a nightmare, or was a nightmare. Had a really hard childhood, and he's just like the nicest fucking dude. Definitely one of my favorite actors. Uh, yeah, what, uh, do you guys have any favorite actors? Or actresses? And or other, just actors? Mm, fuck. Can I put this armor on before we Can you just pause for a second? <laughs> I think I looted some armors. This one? Eight defense. I don't think it's gonna go on us. Maybe on the handmaiden. Wait. Twelve. Oh shit, this is actually better. When did I get this? Huh. We're putting that on. Unless I just got that and I was confused. You can get the Mandalorian armor now. Surely. She can wear it anyway. Yeah. Sick. Very cool. Courtney Cox. Can't visualize this this woman. Hold on. Hold on. Courtney. Oh, these pictures. Troubling. I think I've seen her before. Maybe I'm... She is pretty, though. She's got... I mean, she's older now, right? Who does she look like? Fuck. It's the... She's in one of the Charlie's Angels movies. Hold on. Cast. Wait, what'd I do? Oh, I left Courtney Cox in there. Tuh. Those angels... She's in full throttle? Demi Moore? Is that who I'm thinking of? She does look similar. Yeah, that's who I was thinking of. They're both getting old, huh? Yeah, like here? Woo! Smoking. Absolutely smoke show. It's from the TV show Friends. Okay. She might like throwing puppies in the river. I mean, you never know. You never know. I never watched Friends. Are we? Can we still be friends? <laughs> you immediately hate me since I haven't watched Friends. I've tried before. It's just not my style. Like, I don't really like sitcoms, to be honest. A quick work of that one. Blasphemer! <laughs> 
Damn it. I don't blame you if you never watch me again, it's okay. The only sitcom I've ever... Off with your head! <laughs> the only sitcom I've ever liked was, uh... Full House. But that's just, like, pure nostalgia, and... The most handsome man to ever walk the earth, John Stamos. You can't tell me different. Great power and dark energy within this cave. Anna and Becky. Oof. Explorations within the academy before venturing into the cave. That actress. Exactly my type. I don't know what her name is, but the lady that plays Aunt Becky. <laughs> um, I mean, I think she just tried to pay off someone to get her kid into college. Not that that's a good thing. It's not like the worst thing in the world, though. Unless there's more that happened with that. Enlighten me. Should we go in the cave? What's over here? Come off with her head! <laughs> Yeah, what else did she do? Or is that enough for you? I mean, you definitely shouldn't use your money to like get out of things. But I feel like it's on the scale of shitty things to do. It's not like the worst thing. It's, it's forgivable. I think so. Energy baton. It's just gonna... Okay, I think we're safe in here. <gasps> Dude, we can loot without being attacked? Fuck yes. Let's go. Energy baton does zero damage. How may I serve? Yes. No, me and myself, please. Thank you. Chirac. So we've we've been fighting the whole time. No, we've been fighting his his hisks. To be exact. These are flying boys, huh? <laughs> you know what you're off with your head? I think it's it's probably from multiple things, but it's making me think of the newer uh, Alice in Wonderland movies. I love those movies. They're so good. At least like the first couple. I think there's like three now, right? Yeah, the first couple are really interesting. Johnny Depp, man. Johnny Depp is such a good actor. I recently watched um, the newer Willy Wonka. I know it's like controversial or like some people like the original better, but the transformation from his like no his normal self to the way he portrayed Willy Wonka, just like completely different people. It's really interesting a and entertaining. Like I thought the I thought the way he played Willy Wonka was really fun, <laughs> funny, kind of dark, but like in a funny way. But I do, I gotta say, I do prefer the original Oompa Loompa situation. I think maybe that's the only part that I prefer more in the original Willy Wonka. I just, I don't know. Having like actual actors there rather than like duplicating one guy. Just, I don't know, seems more ideal. Plus, like, if you watch the, <laughs> if you watch the behind the scenes of the new Willy Wonka, the poor guy, the one dude that played all the, all the Oompa Loompas, had to do so much work, like literally the work of like twenty people. Poor guy.
Yeah, like he had to learn, uh, like, he didn't know how to, like, play an instrument or even look like he was playing an instrument, and he had to, at one point there's a whole full band and he has to, <laughs> he has to, like, sing, he has to act like he's playing a guitar, a bass, the drums, and then, like, whenever you see multiple Oompa Oompa Loompas on screen, they had to, like, shoot all of them separately. They didn't just, like, comp him in or, like, CGI it. Like, they literally had him stand in one spot, and then the next spot, and then the next spot. I, that can't be... <laughs> it could not have been more... Um, efficient than having actual... Like, more people. Tim Burton, man. He's something else. <laughs> That director is out of his gourd. Although I'm pretty sure he directs one of my favorite movies, which also has Johnny Depp in it, which is uh, Sweeney Todd. One of the only, the only musicals I actually enjoy, like unironically, pretty like really good, uh, really good music, and just the visuals. The aesthetic of the whole thing. Love it. Although it is another... Um, Sweeney Todd is a remake. Or like a spin-off. Re retelling of the Demon Barber of Fleet Street, which is, I believe, originally... I think it's a play. It's a play, and then they did an older movie. What are you referring to about not fitting narrative? The the giant up trial? Cuz we can talk about that. <laughs> I saw enough of that. I didn't want I didn't watch the whole thing. Sweeney Todd movie? What? Another example you don't fit the narrative. Oh, are you talking about like the character in the movie? Like he just like takes the dude's. Uh... Shit, I don't remember actually. I don't remember. I need to watch it again. He like takes the guy's wife. Does he kill her? Or he thinks he killed her. And then she's like a homeless person. Yeah. Yeah. Dang politicians having too much power. Classic, classic story of having too much power. Indeed. I shall honor them. I'm really into, if you can't tell, I'm really into filmmaking. Uh, I, my original goal in life, my first like passion was to be a, uh, a film editor. Cause I picked up that skill in like high school. I thought it was really, really cool to like make my own videos and stuff, which turns out it's not that hard and a lot of people are doing it nowadays. So it's really hard to find a job. Um, but I watch a lot of behind the scenes of things. Anyways, <laughs> the amount of blood they had to use for Sweeney Todd was incredible. <laughs> like no human body has that much blood. Pedo! That's right, that was her- I did, never connected that. Joanna, right? That was her- or that was Johnny's daughter? What the fuck? I've seen that movie like... 20 times. You're blowing my mind right now. What the fuck? I swear to god, I just like turn my brain off sometimes and just like... Dee! <laughs> it's just like... Uh, pretty colors. So, if you're ever wondering why I'm very confused in the game, that's why. Like, 
right now. I don't know where to go. Guess we could go that way, but we haven't been this way either. I don't think. There's more enemies to be slain. More loot to be had. That's probably my favorite song in that movie, though. The Joanna song. Ooh, you know what? Have you seen a... Uh, have you seen the newest season of Stranger Things? The guy that plays... Um, I don't remember his name. But the guy that's interested, like he's trying to get with Joanna, is in the new season of Stranger Things. Yeah. It's unexpected. Gotta say. I guess it's, there was murmurs mandalorian heavy suit maybe this is gonna be better than what we got also a staff or maybe the hand madon i think he did a really good job though i really liked his performance in that the new season oh my god so freaking good like they upped the production quality from the previous seasons by like five times like <laughs> so good What'd you think of the new season? Anyone else? Able to put, have their input? 414, what did I get? What was it? Sith Warsword? 317. Guess it has a chance to get a little bit more damage. Really? Not, like, blown away by it. They just delivered. <laughs> I think they did an amazing, amazing job. I can't wait for the next couple... Uh, next couple episodes. I think there's only two left. They're coming out this month. Nice. Yeah. There's, um... So, like, they didn't leave it off. Like, this is supposed to be... Yeah, two more. Yeah. There you go. You got me. But yeah, this is supposed to be the last season, I believe they said. Just a little sad. Because... I... In my absolute, like, love of this, the new season, I couldn't get enough... And I was like, you know what, let me, I'm interested, like, the first season was, I don't know how many years ago, but let me go back and see, like, what these characters are like, and oh my god, there's, like, babies, basically. But holy shit, the whole, like, all of Stranger Things is so good. And I did not remember a lot of it. <laughs> Again, I just, like, turned my brain off and, like, <laughs> a lot of times. So it was like, I got to watch it all over again, and I watched, like, <laughs> I watched every single episode ever created, all the seasons in, like, had to have been a week. I got too much time on my hands. Like, four more hours? Yeah, I think they're gonna be longer episodes. A little, like, two movies, basically. Hopefully they're good. I don't doubt they'll be good. Did you like any of the new characters that they added? I have one that... I don't know why, but he's just like, seems like the coolest guy. Like, I don't, I don't know. I can't remember his name. Sadly. But it's like the, the DM. Their new DM guy. I just think his hair's cool. He's got like a cool vibe. I think he's a really interesting character. Like a drug dealer and shit. I feel like I would like to be friends with him. And then, uh, probably my next favorite character is... God, I can't remember names. What the fuck is wrong with me? Steve! Steve has come so far. I love Steve. He's very cool. The Russian trafficker. It, it, I mean, hey, like, yeah, that guy's pretty. That 
guy's pretty cool as a character. Yeah, I can get behind. I can get behind him. I thought he was pretty neat. Very like layered, relatable. Dude, Hopper! Oh my god. Big inspo. Big inspiration. I'm actually. <laughs> I will not show you, but I'm growing my hair out. You know, I, I think I have, I think it looks similar to Hopper. And I'm trying to get my beard going, you know? Very cool guy. Oh, no. Uh, no, I was talking about their dungeon master, the leader of the Hellfire Club. He's got like long, like uh, hair metal hair, like a perm almost. He's like he's a drug dealer. He he was he was the one the whole, most of the season that was being chased after because they thought that he killed uh, that cheerleader. Yeah, yeah, that guy. Can't remember his name for the life of me, but he's a pretty cool character. Yeah, Hopper's such a badass, dude. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Rewatching the. Uh... <laughs> Rewatching the older seasons, every time he like sneaks up on someone, he's like, hey. <laughs> it's so good. I love it. Like, he doesn't have to do that. Probably not. Like, <laughs> I think I talked about this on one of my streams. On how when you're sneaking up on someone, you should not do that. <laughs> it's hard not to, though. Like, just kind of rubbing it in right before you kill someone. Like, hey, pussy. <laughs> Get fucked. I am stuck in a puddle. Fuck, okay. We're good. Yeah, I was, I was talking about Steve. All right, I'll wait. Nah, dude, do what you gotta do. Respect. Get up, stretch your legs. Hydrate. I probably gotta use the bathroom in a bit. Myself. Believe it or not, streamers have to use the bathroom. Yo. Let's go. Finally some competition. Fucking dirtbag Sith. Stand no chance. Not dealing any damage to us. Also, the handmaiden is not attacking. I think we're blocking her from doing so. Probably. Nothing. What the fuck? Did I loot this already? I guess I did. Yeah, I think we searched everything. Oh, we're seeking out the hisks. <laughs> like I see you, motherfucker. You shall not attack me when I loot things. Bring the fight to you. The fuck is this? The power. Were we like absorbing the power? You do not have the strength to enter this place yet. Oh. You should return here later when your power has grown. Okay. Keep that in mind. Guess we could come back here before we leave, maybe. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, I was I was gonna jump into praising Steve as a character. Cause in the beginning of at the very beginning of Stranger Things, the first season, 
He's, he's a total dick. Total asshole. Wrapped up in, like, being popular. And pretty fast, like, he has the falling out with uh, Nancy. They break up. Then he literally, like, kicks him in the ass. Kicks his heart right in the ass. He's like, you know what? I am a dick. <laughs> what am I doing? And then he never gets back with Nancy. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. We'll have to see. I know a lot of people want... They want, um... What's her name? Robin? It's like Robin and Nancy or a thing? I guess. I mean, I know Robin is... She, li she likes the girls. But I, di I didn't get that. I didn't... I didn't get the vibe that she was into uh, Nancy. Because she's... She likes some other girl, like in the band or something. She could like both of them though. I mean, nothing's stopping that from happening, but... Okay. Uh, I guess we gotta go back now. But another... <laughs> another part of like... Steve as a character that's really endear endearing is his relationship with uh fuck I can't remember names today Dustin Dustin yeah the kid that has like no collarbones is so adorable like he's such a big role role model to him he plays like a good older brother to him kind of kind of role I like it I like the dynamic Okay, where else could we go here? I don't remember what was outside of here. We'll see. Did I miss this loot? Nothing, okay. <laughs> and then Dust <laughs> Dustin's relationship, his girlfriend or whatever, it's really cute. They see, when they sing the fucking, uh, what is that, never-ending story theme, very, very iconic. I guess we just go this way now. They keep, <laughs> after that they keep messing with him, like singing it, just to mock him. It's funny. They did a good, hey, they sing it well, so. I don't think this should be ashamed. It is a little cheesy though. A little embarrassing. But hey. He has a girlfriend, I mean, better doing better than me. So who am I to judge? Ooh. Damn, we like one-shot those. That's sick. Okay. Bring it on, Sith Academy. What you got? I'm ready for this shit. Fuck. Maybe not. The big bad is here. Should have known. Should have known. I really gotta pee. After this, I'm, I think I'm gonna go pee. Her apprentice is here. Find him. Chit. Nah, I think we're ready though. I think we're ready for this. I'll be right back though. Bear with me here.
Yes, Nicholas Cage chair. Let's go. I'm glad you like it. If you're interested in the origins of Nicholas Cage chair, let me know. But yes, I. Such a good actor. He's actually insane, but he's. <laughs> it's a great actor. Big fan of his movies. What's your favorite Nicolas Cage movie? Hey. You don't mind masking. <laughs> I think my favorite I think my favorite Nicolas Cage movie is probably Ghost Rider. I know it's like not not the biggest hit, or like it's a controversial movie. I sh I don't know anything about the comic, but it's just a fun movie. Specifically, the first one. I'm not sure how many there are. I think there's maybe two or three. I don't remember them being good. Not nearly as good as the first one. The dude is fucking jacked in that movie, too. Respect. Wait, so you said that you watched all, all of his movies. Did you see... Oh yeah, National Treasures are really good, too. I guess I'm just not really that into like history and stuff, so... But they are fun. They are fun movies, for sure. And the one happens in his head? I don't think I know the, that one. I know there's a movie where he he plays two characters, or they're like twins or something. I've never seen that though. I don't think I've seen this movie you're talking about. I definitely haven't seen all of Nicolas Cage's movies. But <laughs> there's a movie, I think it's on Netflix, that just made me laugh just by like the premise of it. It's called Jujitsu. <laughs> Did you watch that? I guess Nicolas Cage is some like jujitsu master. <laughs> oh, um, are you talking about next? What the fuck? Hello, Demi Moore. <laughs> Hold on. What happened? It like took me out of my window. Okay. I think you're talking about next. He can see the future and like the world's gonna end or something and he has to stop that from happening. Maybe I should save before the game crashes. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Who's the girl in that movie? I remember her being a looker. Very pretty. Attractive. I see you, bitch. Fuck off. But yeah, did you see that jujitsu movie? <laughs> Please tell me. I need to know about it, because I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> oh, I remember seeing that one too, like the trailer for this Drink Himself to Death movie. He's like a trucker, right? Something like that? Very weird. Ooh, you know what? Con Air is a great movie as well. Like, unironically, like, a great movie. Like, not even a little bit of cringe or anything. Like, it's just, just a good movie. Yeah. You need to watch... <laughs> Please watch Jiu-Jitsu for me and report back. <laughs> I can't... <laughs> Just like thinking about 
thinking about old Nicolas Cage, like, <laughs> sorry, I hit the mic. Do, <laughs> being a jujitsu master, I don't know, just makes me makes me laugh. There's no way it's a serious movie. It has to be a joke. But it definitely seems like a. I was gonna say a B-rate martial arts movie, but that's that, that's some D-tier shit, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Didn't I try to open this? Was it locked? Unopen a bottle. Yes. So why couldn't Kira come with us on this? Was she scared? Oh, bitch. The fuck is that about? Strength enhancer. Let's give it a shot. We got fortitude. Strength. Dex. Hmm. Nothing of importance, I don't think. I don't think they changed this place at all. I mean, no reason to change it. This was definitely in the first game. Like, I remember the layout of this place. They, they, they might have just, like, upgraded the textures or something. I am so excited. Does anyone know when the new game is supposed to come out? Did they set a release date yet? Or no, sorry, it's not a new game. It's a remake of the first one of, of this. I cannot fucking wait. Modern graphics. Hopefully they keep the same. Uh, I, I would be okay if they changed it to more of like a MMO. Like, you could see all your abilities. But still like the same. Uh, I would I would call this semi turn based. It's just so chill to play. It reminds me of an MMO. Which is my preferred game off stream. If you haven't already heard me rant about it, I love World of Warcraft. I, however, am not supporting Blizzard and I play on a private server. I guess I can get in trouble for promoting it, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but I play on um, Project Ascension, is what it's called. Is very cool. You can make. What game am I talking about? World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft is an MMO, massively multiplayer online game. It's a classical fantasy style game with wizards and like warriors and barbarians and such. Such. Oh my god. How? If you don't mind me asking, Zora, how old are you? Because I, th I think this matters. I need to know... I need to know... How you haven't heard of World of Warcraft. Wo World of Warcraft. 49. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. It came out in... Uh, like, 2006? And destroyed. Like, every... <laughs> every young person's life, basically. Because it's very addicting. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to be responsible for ru ruining your productivity if you're into that kind of fantasy world, playing with others online kind of thing, but it is so fun. I, I highly recommend it. Oh, okay, you know what it is. Sorry, you said what game is this? You can't play MMOs? Why? Not that it's a bad thing. It makes you any less of a person. But just, I couldn't imagine my life without MMOs. Okay, so you prefer... You don't really like online games, is what I'm gathering. Which is totally fine. I get it. Uh, 
access system commands. Do we have to bypass it first? Let's try. Just to access them. Yeah. <laughs> is this... Is this like one of the only games you've played? Maybe? Or you've only played games like this? Ooh, we're in the we're fucking hacking into the mainframe. Let's go. Star Wars Galaxy. Hell yeah. I always wanted to play that. I think it's still around. Like you can still play it, but it's just so so dated. I don't think it holds up anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's probably a good idea. Especially like if you have a career or like a family. Like you can still play those games, but it's really hard to just play them for like a couple hours a day or something like that. It can really eat into your life. Yeah, I get that. Hold on, let's see here. What can I do? Oh, I have to like create an ID, bypass login, and manually create ID. Shit. Yeah, it's... <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I had the same experience with World of Warcraft when I was young. I used to be like a really outdoorsy kind of kid. Like I would literally... I don't know how I had so much ener energy. I guess because I was just outside so much. Just like really physically active. But I would come home e immediately from school. Like literally like throw my backpack... And I'd get on my bike and just go ride around all day. And then during football season, like I would do that. And then I would go to football practice. Like I'd come home for a couple hours, like ride my bike around. And somehow still have a bunch of energy and just go like full throttle at football practice. And then come home, just like pass out. But one day, um, such a, such a vivid memory of like first finding world of warcraft hold on let me get out of it should i log out of this no i think i'm like i need to be at this screen just trying to give a better backdrop for my rant here but uh yeah one day i saw my uncle i think he was either at our house or i was at his house for some reason but anyways he was like at his kitchen table on his laptop and I walked by and I saw like there's like a an elf like sitting in grasslands and there was like a sunset. And he was literally just sitting there enjoying the sunset in this game. And I thought it looked so cool. And I got so sucked in and it, he spent like an hour or so just showing me like all the cool stuff in the game. It was so cool. It was just like it blew, it blew my mind. And I immediately went home and begged my parents. I'm like, I have to play this game. Like, I will not... Like, I'll cease to exist if I, if I don't get this game. So they gave in and bought me the game. But what sucked is, like, as soon as I got it downloaded and figured out, like, what character I wanted to play, or, like, I don't even think I got to make a character. I had to go... My brother was going to uh, soccer camp. For whatever reason, I guess, I, yeah, I couldn't be home, home by myself. I don't remember how old I was, but my parents didn't want me to stay home. They wanted me to go with them to take him to soccer camp, which is like next state over or something. But I was like fiending. Like I was freaking out because I couldn't play this game. I was so close to playing it. So I, I like must have thrown a fit or something. Somehow I ended up going to a GameStop and getting the manual for the game. 
I don't know if you remember that, but like big thick manual. And I like theory crafted this whole trip on what I was going to play. It was so much fun. And the payoff was so good when I got home. I don't remember what I originally made. I think I played like a warlock. You use like a wand. And then my brother got into the game and he started playing a warrior. Or no, sorry. He started playing a hunter. And he was leveling so much faster than I was. And I I think he stepped away because we had to share a computer. I think he stepped away for a second one time. And I hopped on and like started killing stuff <laughs> on his warrior just to like see if it was a better character than mine. And oh my god, it was. So it was so much easier to play. So I switched to that, and I was, I've been a hunter, like, my entire life now. <laughs> I still play a hunter. You can believe that. It's so fun. So, so many fond memories of learning World of Warcraft. And, like, every time I get someone into World of Warcraft, I make sure to tell them, like, don't look up guides for the game. Because my, my favorite part of World of Warcraft was learning the game and just being like lost in the world. And you can never do that twice. I'm sure you, I'm sure you can relate with uh, Star Wars as well. Because like at some point, I got really into min-maxing my character. And it's just like, then it's just like math and shit and it's like, eh. Like, and you like know everything it's not as fun but this server i'm playing on is always changing because you can usually in world of warcraft you can only be a certain class and have a certain set of abilities but on this specific server they've unlocked that and you can pick and choose abilities from all these classes and just make like a hybrid class and i'm playing a uh like a, now I'm playing a hunter that uses magic abilities. It's so, it is so overpowered, <laughs> but so much fun. And they they actually have like a, whenever you get bored of whatever class you decide to make, um, they have a a list of builds and you can rank them, and you can just like copy paste that build onto your character. So it's like endless, pretty much like. The creativity of people is endless. It's so fun. When I found this server, though, I played for... <laughs> I played for, like, 12 hours. And I think, like, last week it was. It's only... It's, it's been really recent. Some of my streams definitely... Uh, definitely took a hit because... My butt hurt. <laughs> I was sitting too much. Like, I didn't move for like 12 hours playing this game. And then I streamed uh, that same day, so. Or if not, like the next day. Anyways, enough of my ranting. Let's, let's try to figure this out. So I have to... Okay, we'll, we'll enter this code, I guess. Oh, hello. Learning material, training room. The original Dungeons and Dragons MMO. Now you got me on this one. I don't know what that was like. Actually, I think I saw some gameplay before. Was it like, um, did it look like Doom? Or was it top down? I do like uh, tabletop Dungeons and Dragons. It's really fun. If you have like a good group, it's so much fun. The only thing I don't like about tabletop Dungeons and Dragons is it takes a long ass time. I'm one to talk streaming for like four hours, but it's different when, like, I feel like the pace of the pace, it, it all depends on like your DM or whatever, or like how many people you're playing with. 
but oh you're talking about yeah just straight up yeah straight up I don't know what I'm doing with this console was I able to do anything system commands I guess if I pass the test I could fuck with something but I don't really feel like doing that unless you guys know the answers <laughs> I'm so lazy but what I was saying about it depends on your DM um, the combat is the fun part for me and that can be really slow sometimes especially if you have a lot of people playing you're like all right god like can we move on please <laughs> Yeah, I played, I was in the Air Force for a bit. Been out for like a year or so. Um, I played a bit in there. It was pretty fun. Surprising amount of people in the military are really nerdy. Especially in like... Oh shit. Yeah, smaller groups are definitely more ideal. Yeah, like three or so, three or four. I think we had we had like a core group, like three or four people, but some nights would be like ten, like ten people. It's just not, it's not good. <laughs> like you get nothing done, waiting on all the turns. But it is cool. Uh, we we were considering breaking off into di separate groups. Yeah, I've never experienced that, so I'm not really sure how that would work. Like, two groups in the same room kind of thing, it'd probably just be loud and annoying. Probably ask them to go somewhere else. <laughs> you went to one like that, and yeah, never again. I don't blame you. Oh shit. Poison! Wait, whoa! These things are going to shoot off, aren't they? Fuck. Handmaiden, Handmaiden is down. You know what we got to do? We got to get these fuckers out of here. Idiots. Come to me! And then you just stay, and I'll put the poison mask on. Ready. Everything will be fine. My life is yours. My life is yours. That's a bit... You don't need to do that, but I respect it. I'm invincible to your to your poisons. You do not scare me, although I will avoid it still. Just to be safe. Ooh, I got a 1v1 some people. Can we do it? You idiots! Why did you follow me? I definitely had them stay. Did I do it right? I definitely... What the fuck? Oh well. At least I'll be alive. Why did they follow me? And now they're just not even helping? Can you believe them? What's the point of stationary? Stationary! Stay! There's no other way to do that that I'm aware of. Okay, now please help me. It's a trick. Idiots, both of you. What, um, uh... What character fantasy is your, like... What trope or archetype, I think, is the word I'm looking for. Like, do you like to play a ranger or, like, a warrior in Dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons? I usually play a ranger. Just because I like how... I like the aesthetic of like having a bow and like two two weapons and like a cloak and shit. Should I watch it right now? Do you do you want to see me react to that? I love reacting to things. If you if you can't tell. I think it's fun. 
We can do that. Let me know. I can't imagine it's, uh... <laughs> Yeah, it can't be very fun. Yeah, let's watch this. Hold on. Cue it up here. Usually went with Red Wizard. Is that what that is? Average spells and average fighting skills? Hmm. Okay. What kind of spells does a Red Wizard get? That's what I'm... Am I saying it right? Red Wizard. I think I had at one point a ranger that was a a werewolf. <laughs> it was really cool. <laughs> Have you ever dueled anyone? Have you ever dueled anyone in D and D? That's really fun. It reminds me of playing. Um, reminds me of playing like turn based. Uh, PvP in World of Warcraft is really fun. I remember pl playing that with my werewolf ranger. It was really cool. Because my, like, I think I was playing as my cousin and he thought he had me and then I, like, shape shifted into the werewolf and just destroyed him. Okay, summoner, summoner D&D &D Easter egg. Let me see. I can spell some uh, D and D Easter egg. <laughs> this already looks really funny. Summoner was a video game. Okay, let's see. the door to the north you are now by yourself standing in a dark room the pungent stench of mildew emanates from the wet dungeon walls where are the cheetos <laughs> they're right next to you i cast a spell where's the mountain dew in the fridge duh i want to cast a spell can i have a mountain dew my pockets <laughs> dude just go get it i can cast any of these right on the list yes any any of the first level ones i'm gonna get a soda anyone want one Hey, Graham, I'm not in the room, right? What Jesus Christ. I want to cast Magic Missile. The room where he's casting all these spells from. He hasn't cast anything yet. I <laughs> I'm casting Magic Missile. Why are you casting Magic Missile? There's nothing to attack here. I, I'm attacking the darkness. <laughs> attacking the darkness. <laughs> fine, fine. You attack the darkness. There's an elf in front of you. Whoa, that's me, right? He's wearing a, <laughs> a, a brown tunic, and he has gray hair and blue eyes. No, I don't. I have gray eyes. <laughs> Let me see that sheet. Well, it says... <laughs> Show me your sheet. Well, it says I have blue, but I decided I wanted gray eyes. Whatever. Okay, you, you guys can... <laughs> Make up your mind. Now if you want. Hello. Hello. I am Gallstaff, Sorcerer of Light. Then how come you had to cast Magic Missile? <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 you guys are being attacked. Do I see that happening? No, you're outside by the tavern. Cool, <laughs> drunk. There, there are seven ogres surrounding you. How could they surround us? I had Morton Kaiden's Magical Watchdog cast. No, you didn't. I'm getting drunk. Are there any girls there? I told I'm getting you drunk. If I wanted any equipment before this adventure, and I said no. But I need material components for all my spells. So I cast Morton Kaiden's Faithful Watchdog. But you never actually cast it. Roll the dice to see if I'm getting drunk. <sighs> yeah, you are. Are there any girls there? Yeah. I did, though. I completely said when you asked me. No, you didn't. You didn't actually say this. This is utter chaos. So I love ogres, it. Okay? Ogres? Man, I got an ogre slaying knife. It's got a plus nine against ogres. You're not there. You're, You're not even there. <laughs> there. I want to do them. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Thank you for sharing that. That's funny. Yeah, I, I can imagine just this fucking. Utter chaos. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, what was the point of coming in here, though? Can't go in here. Probably have to open these doors through that terminal, huh? I bet you that's what we gotta do. Yep. That is what we have to do. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Place your bets. Yes, I believe that's what we're doing. Uh, I think this is the only place we can go, though, pretty much. And those doors are locked. So we've searched everywhere else that we can, I believe. And the only thing that I haven't done is pass the test. I guess we didn't go all the way over here either. We'll check over this way. But I have a hunch that we have to pass the test on that terminal. And then we can open those doors that we were just at. Feel free to assist me in the test. Or let me struggle. It's up to you. But, uh, and or place your bets if I'm going to fail the test. <laughs> what should we... Hmm, what should be... At stake? What, if I fail it, what, what should you guys get? I'm trying to think of what I have. My channel points. That could be funny. The test is easy for Sith. I kind of swing both ways, though. I understand both sides, so we'll see how easy, easy it is. Ooh, it's an orange crystal. Might have to check that out at some point. Okay. Yeah, what else is over here? Chewed toilet cor corpse. Gross. A lightsaber was used to fuse this door shut. How exactly does that work? You just like melt the metal? <laughs> so many assassins just chilling in here. Oh, that was kind of cool. Just like, <laughs> turned around. Lightsaber throw. Oh shit, someone died. Damn it. Again, not paying attention. That's alright. They'll be able to heal up while I'm failing this test in a second. Ooh, that's a that's a question. When you played DD, did you Oh what the fuck? She kinda scared me. She came back and just immediately turned her lightsaber on. Thought there was another enemy. When you played D&D though, did you play like permadeath? Like if your character died, that was it. I was watching a video. Um, this dude has like the most involved D&D setup. I guess they've been running, they've been running a, a game for like, like 20 years or something is nutty but he said like if your character dies in his campaign if you don't have another character set up which i don't know why you wouldn't knowing that but yeah if you don't have another character set up that's it and you can never come back <laughs> it's kind of fucked <laughs> but, or you can't like technically you could come back but since they've been running a game for however many years and he has like a lot of people wanting to join he has a cap, I think, of like four people. Um, yeah, if your character dies, that's it. Crazy. 
it's too much at stake. He said that uh, he's seen many people cry. <laughs> many tears have been shed at that table, I guess. But he has like all of these. He has like every miniature. He has every miniature town as well. Like for any situation, like even down to different styles of towns. Like if they're in a Roman town. He has it. If they're in like an African like huts and stuff like that kind of vibe. He has it snow, like a snow scene. He, he's got it, <laughs> but it's like this whole dude's house, his entire house. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> Anyways. All right, let's take this test. Huh? Enter as this, uh, no, we can, we can study before, but Wait, access training room. Okay. Yeah, we have to take the test. Got it. Take the written test. Okay. Is there a time limit? I hope not. God, it feels like I'm taking an online college test right now. I'm stressed. I didn't study for this. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Which of the following Sith Lords is not entombed on Korriban. Fuck! <laughs> I know Tulak Kord. Which of the Sith Lords is not entombed on Korriban? On this planet? Which one? We got Nagasato, Ajuntapal, uh, Marka Ragnos, Frieden Nad and Tulak Cord. I know Tulak Cord is here. Or they said that name. I realize you probably can't see the answers, huh? Hold on. I can fix this. I can fix this. I don't know how easily. Let's see. Uh. I guess I gotta switch to display, huh? To do this. If I was smart, I wouldn't have to, but one second. Just like this. Just scoot us over. Oh shit. Hey, it kinda like magnetizes. I should set up I should set up a button to to move me around. I've seen that. Some people have that. Free and Nad is the one. Okay. Shit, it doesn't tell us if we're right or wrong. That's bad. That's a that's unnerving. Okay. Uh, this one is a number of Sith. A number of Sith lords conducted the brutal ritual, or burial. Sorry, burial ritual of the great. Mark Aragnos, the ritual required all the Sith Lords in attendance to be evenly spaced in a perfect circle. Ludo Kresh led the ritual from the coveted sixth position, Jesus Christ, directly opposite Simus Simus in the 16th position. How many Sith Lords conducted the bur- This is fucking math, dude. The math problem? Not prepared for this. Okay, so what we got? A number of Sith Lords, okay. Evenly spaced. There's at least six positions. No, at least 16 positions. So 16? Where are you getting that from? But I'll take it. 9. 20? Okay. I'll trust you. I'm so shit at math. <laughs> Which of the following creatures would be least suitable as a pet for a Sith Master? Um... 
how are you supposed to know this? Maybe just the studying. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what these two are. We've been fighting these guys here. Shyrak is a flying thing that was in the caves here. Tuka Ata? I don't know what that is. A Giska? I don't know what that is. Buma or Bama is like a. I don't know, like a big lizard. Is Giska? Okay. Which of the following statements is not a paradox? Shit. Um. Student teaches his instructor who teaches his student. Okay, that's a paradox, right? Paradoxes are things that kind of are infinite, right? I always lie? I guess that could be a paradox. The statement is false? I don't think that's a paradox. The, to be powerful, one must have... My cat's knocking shit off. My dresser... To be powerful, one must have an army. To have an army, one must be powerful. That sounds like a paradox. Yeah. I kind of thought... I don't know. I feel like if you always lie, you never know when you tell the truth, right? So maybe that's a paradox, but... And then the, what's the last one? Is no the answer to the question. Hmm. We'll try it. I always lie. Path to breaking change. Now this, this was what I was expecting. Oh, I always lie as a statement. Yeah, fair enough. I was thinking too hard about it, probably. But this is the kind of questions I was thinking was going to be on this test. <laughs> like stuff about the Sith code. So. Path to breaking chains is passion, strength, power, victory. That sounds like... I don't know. Maybe it's the order, because, yeah. They're all the same. What the fuck? This trick question bullshit. Yeah, they all have the same or... Well... They all have the same words, but just in different orders. Can we think about this? So victory's last, right? It has to be last. So it's the first one, you think? Or through victory do you gain power? I think it's a trick question. And I think it's two. What do y'all think? First one? Okay. <sighs> Let's go! Good job, guys. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for helping me through that. Fuck okay. yeah. Alright. I think we'll just stay on the side of the screen. Let me know if I should change. So I'm lazy. Access training room. Yes! What the fuck is in that cage? We must know. We must find out. Hold on. I need to shut off my AC. It's a bit chilly. It's been really hot. Pretty much everywhere. Pretty much everywhere. But I'm gonna complain about specifically where I am. <laughs> it's very hot. But luckily, I'm blessed with AC. So I can't complain too much. First world problems. And on top of that, I'm lucky enough to have an apartment that is nice enough that... For whatever reason, they installed... AC... Like a... AC heat unit that I can control from my phone. Very spoiled. I'm aware. But I cannot live without it now. <laughs> I will always want that in the house. Does anyone else have that? Or, and or, when I lived in the UK, I don't know why I had never heard of this, but they don't have ACs there. Like, it's just not a thing. Also, a lot of times they don't have dryers. Like, everyone just hangs their clothes up to dry really weird. Not ideal. 
my experience, I was probably doing it wrong, but my clothes would always get like really stiff, like almost like, um, like they were starched or something. Oh man, I just saw something bleh, really scary. I got some like papers on the ground. And there's a bunch of bugs crawling in it. I'll have to deal with that later. <laughs> uh oh. Again, I need to spray. Okay, these guys aren't going to stay out here anyways. So I'm just going to run through. Whatever. I'll be safe. They'll die. They'll get poisoned. I tried before. If you're just joining us here. I tried to have them stay out, but they don't care. Oh shit, there's a lightning bug. Eat it, cat. <laughs> don't just play with it. She's probably never seen a lightning bug in her life. I don't blame her. They're so cool. At least I'm not scared of it now. Lightning bugs are harmless. They're just cool. Okay, this is troubling. So, what's our goal? What's our goal here? Do we have to... Was this one locked? Is this other door locked? It is. Okay, so this is some sort of test here too, huh? Okay. Do we just have to kill this? Kill these beasts? What commands do we have? Okay. Alright. I guess we're beginning the sequence. Hmm? Level 2 training, training sequence. Corrupted. Resolving. Okay. Wait, that's kind of scary. I feel like we were supposed to... <laughs> we probably weren't... supposed to be fighting all of these at once. Huh. It's okay. We can take it. And my cat is a total wuss. She just ran away from the lightning bug like, what the fuck? What is that? <laughs> She's got me paranoid that there's more bugs. Which there probably are. Hiding somewhere. I've at least had so far this summer. Probably like five spiders. One really big one that scared the shit out of me. Ugh. I'm like shaking thinking about it. Okay, was that it? Did I pass? Am I locked in here? Bruh. I did the thing. Okay. Unacceptable performance for level 16 student. Oh, report to detention room. Okay. Oh, that probably lets us into this other room, huh? Okay, that's fine. It's fine. Unless... Unless we're gonna get punished. Okay, she's dead. Oh yes. I felt this Jedi's death shortly after we arrived on Korriban. Whoa, okay. Vash. I think she's in um there's a, there's a Star Wars MMO as well, which I played extensively. I think she no, Zash. Zash is the name. Very similar. I'm mistaken. Never mind. Um. 
Um, yeah, I think we can just move on, maybe. Not, not, noth nothing we can do, I don't think, to like help her or anything. I mean, she big dead, so... Check what's going on with the panel. Can we loot her? Is that is that rude? I want all of her things. No. Lame. She just had a journal that I'm not gonna read. <laughs> Schedule disciplinary action. What? Guess we can enter her name, see what happens. Open front door, okay. Sounds good to me. Nice. Now the question is, where was that? I think there was somewhere in the main middle area that was locked. Okay, all right. Get down. I know, I know there's a bug on the screen, okay? One second, guys. I'm probably gonna hit the mic here, trying to get this <laughs> this bug down. Oh, <laughs> my heart. The, the I don't know if you guys can see this, but the lightning bug landed on my cat's nose. Oh my god. <laughs> get it. Where'd it go? Hold on, guys. Let me get this off my desk before it goes under my keyboard or something. Okay. Crisis averted. The lightning bug has been returned to the wilderness outside. <laughs> that was really cute. I wonder how much was on that that you guys could see. The, the, the lightning bug was like right on her nose and she did not know what to do. <laughs> you okay? Too cute. You got disappointed? Yeah, I, I was a bit disappointed, but like, uh, what am I going to do, you know? They're dead. Is she alive in the restored content? That's crazy. What's this schedule disciplinary action? On myself? What? Uh, no. Should I do this? Is it like unlock some thing? I kind of want to do it. Is that sick of me? <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quick save and see what happens. Like, when am I going to be back here, right? Schedule discipline on myself. It's just going to shock me, isn't it? Oh, the staff will... Oh, I leveled up. There's no staff to discipline me? Or is someone going to show up and fuck my... Fuck me right in the ass? Are they going to spank me? Shit, did I auto-level? I guess I can't undo that, huh? Oh well. Oh, well. Didn't mean to do that. We're going to be... I'm going to look up tonight or tomorrow before stream um, how to respec. Because I just want to have Flurry. Oh, hello. This is the, are they these guys gonna discipline me? That's the main guy, so I'm kind of fucked up.
Did you come here for answers? There are none. The call of Korriban is strong, but it is the call of the dead. It is fitting you came here. Ooh, thank you for reminding me. I have studied you. Yeah, we gotta talk to Kira. Nothing but weakness. Yet still she clutches at you, as if you are all that gives her life. Oh yeah, I passed that shit up <laughs> a while ago, huh? Hold on. Let me mark that too. My notes, so don't forget. I, d I, d I do a really good job of remembering, th remem remembering things if I write it down. Because then all I have to do is remember that I wrote something down. <laughs> then I can go look at it. So let me do that. Um, Prestige, Kira. Prestige, world, worldwide, worldwide. Kira. I might do it off stream, but we'll see. Kira. What are my options, by the way? For prestiging. How does it change? How does it change the gameplay? I assume I can specialize in some sort of skill. Probably want to do lightsabers. Be more like have better attacks or something. Or like deflect things better. Some defense would be good. Yeah. So the game's kind of hard sometimes. Uh. We already know how he knows Kira. He was in charge of her in some way. A better fighter too, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that'd be good. Hmm. I can see what weapon master, okay. Cool. I will remember that. Um, let's see what he wants with Kira and then what she wants with me. I want her to die and see all that she has built cast down. All Damn. that she holds dear in shards at her feet. That's pretty harsh, but understandable, I think. What does Kira want with me? She clings to hope that perhaps she can train one as great as her first. She is a fool who escaped death once. She will not do so again. I kind of missed that. I missed what he said. Fuck. I'm gonna replay this and then maybe do that again. Yeah, what does Kira want with me? She clings to hope that perhaps she can train one as great as her first. Oh. She is a fool who escaped death once. She I see. She wants to train me. Okay, that's innocent enough. Um. Yeah, I'd say this guy's pretty bad. We should probably have to fight him, huh? We definitely want. I feel attached to Kira. She seems pretty cool. Seems to have good intentions. Can't say the same for this guy. If you are here for battle, let's get on with it. You are a wretched thing. A thing of weakness and fear. You are her apprentice. Bring it on. Only. I am the master. And that is why you will die. I would be lying if I wasn't a little bit intimidated. We're gonna take his followers out, though. <laughs> All right, have a have a good night. Uh, 
Thank you for sticking around. You, you have no idea how how much easier it is to stream bouncing off someone in chat. Thank you. Being an exemplary, exemplary example of a good chatter. You have a wonderful night, Zora. I'll be back tomorrow. Love to have you back. Same time, same place. Have a good night. Let's fuck this shit up. Let's go! No, thank you, Zora. A thousand things. This guy's like super tall. He's pretty intimidating. On every level. Kind of kicking his ass though. Maybe we should throw some heals in. We are like half health. It hasn't been healing the handmaiden though. Maybe she's just getting focused, huh? He cannot be defeated. He is not a beast of flesh and blood. This is not a battle that can be won. Flee. Oh shit, we gotta run. What does that mean? He's not flesh and blood. The fuck? Yeah, was, is there anything else you'd like to share? It probably would have been good information earlier. There will be another time, but it is not now. Not here, while Korriban runs through him. Fair enough. She protects him, shields him. Find him, hunt him wherever he travels. He will not escape me again. I will bring his corpse to her, cast it at her feet. It will be as if killing her children. I will kill all she protects, all she shields, until her hands are drenched in blood. Damn, dude. Seems a bit harsh. So a little bit. All right, I think we're just running back to the ship, huh? Probably. Best way to flee from this guy, because he's probably just gonna hunt us down. The way he was talking. Just get the fuck out of here. Can we just... This is a pretty epic scene. Those statues are so tall and impressive. It'd be so incredible if like we had some stuff like this in real life. The statues are so big. I guess we have like Mount Rushmore, right? It's the closest thing I can think of. Yes, droid, I do not know what you're saying. Oh, Kelborn. Okay. Hello. Yes, what did, what what did uh Kelborn have to say? Kavar? I don't remember who Kavar is. I guess I expected to hear from them. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I feel pretty attached to the Mandalorian people. Seem like a cool group. Uh, we'll go back and help them. I guess they're in some sort of distress. Well, check it again. It can't be anything else. Just check the damn connector. 
I don't trust the diagnostics any more than I trust you. Because I don't like droids. They break. In the head. Well, whatever you call that thing on your head. Yeah, well, if I'm mean to you, it's because I care. Oops, sorry. Smack the mic. Don't you ever give it a rest? She will never rest. She will always try. Fine, don't mind me. I just need to get some stuff from the cargo hold. You know the first tier of styles, but you're holding back because I am unarmed. Tell me where you were trained. What can I say? I'm a quick study. You lie. Few know the Achani styles by reflex. Oh yeah? Guess you saw a lot of the world while you were freezing your cargo hold off in the Ice Academy. Didn't you, sister? Next time I walk in here, I'm carrying a blaster. Oh yeah, one other thing. Don't think I haven't noticed the way you've been sparring with our ex-Jedi friend. This isn't some pleasure yacht. So if I did know all the Achani movements, I might know more than just the first tier, including the etiquette rituals. So keep your hands where I can see them. Fool. Shut up. So you fought against the Mandalorian. Add, add on like cock blocking me. What's that about? Yes, I worked as a technician though. But you fought on the front lines. To a Mandalorian, there is honor in that. I could do without your Mandalorian honor. I saw the results of your honor. The absolute destruction your warriors brought. And look at them now. Mandalorians are little better than mercenary thugs. And what's honor to someone like that? All they care about are credits. If I were you, I'd pick your words more carefully. <laughs> Alright, everybody calm down. Yeah, this is neither the time nor place for this right now. You fought for no cause other than to spread suffering and pain to the people you conquered. Maybe that's what it looked like to you, but that isn't why we fought. We fought for honor and glory in the heat of battle. You did nothing but murder innocents. The Republic took us too lightly. We wanted to face the full force of their army. We had to goad them to fight. That's exactly what I'm talking about. If you ask me, you Mandalorians just got what you deserved at Malakor. Defeat is part of a warrior's life. We will recover. Stronger than before. Doesn't it even bother you that your people were almost destroyed? Or do lives have no meaning to you? People die in war. Well, I'm glad to have you guarding my back. <laughs> Please just stop. Yeah, this doesn't need to be talked about anymore, I don't think. Please, no fighting on my ship! Alright, we gotta go talk to Kira and specialize! Thank you again, Zora, for reminding us. Bum, 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 bum. Where the fuck is she at? Here you are, Kira. You have befriended the seer. Yeah, I guess so. Somehow. Visa is our friend now. Well, I guess she uh, sees through the force, so yeah. I... Why do you call her a seer? I assume that's why. Her species does not see as we do. They perceive the galaxy through the force, and it is how she found you. It is a rare gift squandered on her people. The Sith carry the battle to you, and you spare them. And as we travel, the empty places of this ship are filled. I hope your thoughts in this matter are clear. In saving her, you may destroy yourself, and do not mate with her. Whatever you may feel, whatever urges consume you, 
do not let them control you. Such a union would breed difficulties. Oh? What kind of difficulties are we talking about? Some, like, misformed children kind of thing? Uh, I guess probably be blind, too? At the very least? So I get that, I guess. <laughs> Just because I saved here doesn't mean I was going to charge up her landing ramp. No. Too much. I'm going to say that though, that's funny. That's that's we shall see. I trust your exile has taught you restraint and discipline in the ways of the flesh. Like the servant of Atris, this one has other masters. Though blind, she has ties to darkness. Her presence here is a threat to us, to you. Do not underestimate her or her loyalty. Mm. All I wanted was her lightsaber? Nah. Yeah, I mean, I think I can turn her to the light, if not a bit lighter. Maybe the gray, gray Jedi territory. She, yeah, she doesn't seem very evil. To show mercy to a Sith is to invite a blade to your throat. You walk a fool's path and I will not aid you in helping her. Fair enough, but I still think that's possible to be done. Yeah, her whole planet was destroyed. She has no home. That's kind of fucked. Her people are not prone to violence, war, or hatred, yet their planet is obliterated, scoured from the face of the galaxy, and all that remains is a Sith. Yeah, it seems strange, strange that a Force-sensitive world was destroyed. You are right to trust your instincts. Something is wrong. It is only a matter of discovering what and why. If your instincts lead you to an answer, seek me out. Perhaps we will discuss more. I have other questions, like, can you help me be stronger? Ask. Huh. Um, okay, I was looking for a straightforward question on, like, how to specialize or whatever, but maybe it's a bit more cryptic. Um, let's see. Let's scan through here again. Or if anyone watching knows how to specialize while talking to Kira... Okay, yeah, when she attacked me, did something to my eyesight? Maybe that's it? She did nothing to your eyes that was not already there. She has forced this upon you, but such crude methods are the markings of the Sith. Close your eyes. Sure, I'll play along. Feel this ship around you. Listen to my words. 
hear the sound of the handmaiden's training in the cargo hold, her hands cutting the air. The welding of the droid as it goes about its work. <laughs> Guess we have high enough computer to notice something wrong with T3. He has a stuck motivator. Oh no. Now stretch out. Hear the rumble of hyperspace, the hum of the hyperdrive. It <laughs> We can hear a little catch in it. It's not fully fixed. Ignore distractions and focus on my voice. All right. The breathing of the blinded one as she meditates in the dark. Now, listen deeper past her breathing and listen. As my feet walk from the ashes of Qatar, I shall not fear. For in fear lies death. And... Oh, wait. What was she talking about? Yeah. You know what you heard. It is what I hear. Constant whispers of wants, desires, lies told to oneself to stave off the darkness around us. You are strong indeed. What you heard were surface thoughts only. But it is something that masters have trained for for years and never learned. Have I been able to hear thoughts all along? Or? That is not the real question you should ask. Is such listening enough to perceive the world around you? It is not, because to listen to the thoughts of another is much like attempting to see the universe only with your eyes. It is equally limiting. Now leave me be. I must rest. Okay, we gained one, one awareness. She's done talking to us, but can we talk again? Yes. Have you come? Okay, teach me more about the force, yeah. What is it that drives you? Now you taught me this, that sight thing. Is there anything else she can teach me? When I spoke of sight before, there is a similar handicap that tends to occur among those strong in the Force. They neglect their skills. Some believe they no longer need them. The greatest wielders of the Force are those that maintain some grounding to the more physical realities of the universe. sort of grounding are you talking about? Some wielders of the Force have mastered piloting, others the ability to fix and repair and build from simple moisture vaporators to more complex... I think we figured out how... we made it, made it to the specialization to understand the human body options here. ...for example, can make your powers within the Force more complete, more powerful, when you attempt to repair the cellular damage of another. And others have mastered the more subtle work of politics, persuasion, do not doubt that a galaxy may be conquered with words, a republic overthrown, and an empire made. When such skills are honed, one's abilities with the Force become that much stronger. My warning to you is this. Do not rely on your companions to compensate for your weaknesses in skill. There will be times they will not be there to help you when needed. What skill would you say is your greatest strength? Hmm, okay. Um... Interesting. I guess this depends on what you've leveled up, right? Um, I think healing others would be most important. 
Because, yeah, persuading people could get you out of situations, but more times than not, you are fighting people. I mean, it is a action RPG, so. Um, yeah, I'd like to go for healing others. And what skill would you say is your greatest weakness? Oh, repair. <laughs> There's one. Yes. Then my task before you is this. Take your greatest weakness, devote effort to it, strengthen it, and I will show you how it shall strengthen your power in the Force. Force repair? That's lame. Uh, okay, how do I do that, though, I guess? As you learn and train and test yourself against the galaxy, all your skills have a chance to improve and grow as well. When you devote some of that training to your weakest skill, you will know. Wait, so I have to improve my weakest... I have to improve repair. Is that what... I have other questions, though, I guess. Ask. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, there was some questions about lightsaber forms and stuff. Maybe if I talk to her again, I can get those. Need some answers. Hmm. Okay, I guess we have to come back once we improve our repair. I gotta remember that. Write that down too. <laughs> so I'm not gonna remember that. Do like repair, up repair, back to Kira. Alright, um, <clears throat> I think we're off to Nar Shaddaa then, huh? So I think it's the last place we have to go. Okay, I've been there, I've been there. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. Let's freaking go. I'm so excited. Hope this is cool. Hope it looks as cool as I'm hoping. Blow this popsicle stand. We truly were there for a while. I feel like we should have been attacked. <laughs> By that uh, Sith Master. One would think. It is just a game though, so. Limitations. This game is so good in like every other way. Here we are. The Smuggler's Moon. It's the gaping maw of Nal Hutta, swallowing all the cargo and spaceport thugs the galaxy has to offer. Mandalorians, mercenaries, war veterans, and pilots from the Mandalorian war. Shit, that's right. We needed to go back to uh, Mandalorians. When the last war ended, there was no place left for them to go. Too many Mandalorians were scattered after the war, without purpose and without direction. Most became little more than raiders. Nar Shaddaa's a rough place and easy to get lost in. Or for someone to get lost. If we wanted to keep out of sight from the Sith for a while, you couldn't pick a better spot. Alright, what are we doing then? Let's land. I plotted a course for the refugee sector and we should touch down within the hour. Once we're down, we should finally be able to breathe easy. There's no way anyone's going to find us here. 
feel a bit bad, but we'll we'll get back to the Mandalorians at some point. I'm just I'm excited to check this planet out. We've already oh yeah, look at this. It's so cool. It's like Blade Runner. I don't think I've seen any any like city like this in one of these games before. Wow, look at this. The aesthetics here, so cool. Black and gold. What's all this, son? They're upset because they've been hunting me for a long time and he wants us he wants them to not kill me. To draw more Jedi here to get all of them at once. Makes sense. Request, if Goto's vessel is no longer neutral ground, inform us so that we might initiate assassination protocols and commence firing at once. The Hupo Botanio go Jucho Picha, Gwen Taba Ni Sochu, Natoga Proton Lala Shishi, Juba Dosa Jiba Cha, Ratak. Seems like these uh, Twi'leks are on board and not killing me, <laughs> which I like. But everyone else wants to kill me. Mm, but they want to get me to attack them so they can defend themselves and kill me. Smart. This is true, I am a bit different. Built a bit different, I might attack them. Knowing this now, I won't. <laughs> they can't attack me if I don't attack them. Showed their hand. It is difficult to center oneself. Never have I been to a place so alive with the force, yet so dead to it. The contrast is like a blade. Word of warning, watch where you step, or you'll fall for hours. Shh. Yeah, how high is this? That's crazy. You'd fall for hours? And then you'd, I mean, of course you'd die, right? Falling for hours and then splat. Uh, should we hide the Ebon Hawk? Maybe a little, but landing here means we didn't have to transmit our ID signature. You know what trouble that always brings. In fact, while we're here, we should get those signatures changed. Wouldn't make us such a target when we enter a new system. Not a bad idea. First, first good suggestion you've had in a while, add-on, gotta say. Gotta say. Yeah, have we have any other problems with the authorities? No, but I forgot to tell them we were landing. The oh. refugee sector's well. a dead zone. No one cares too much who flies in and out of here as long as they're not carrying cargo that the exchange or the huts might want a piece of. Smart.
All right, let's go. All right then, let's move out. Uh, where are we headed exactly? It does not matter where we go. If what we seek is here, we shall come upon it in due time. Uh, yeah, if you want to stay on the ship and meditate some more, don't let us stop you. Hey, get down. I know you got up here because there was a bug, but... Not allowed. Uh, I don't want to buy equipment, which I think this is what this is saying about not minding getting some new equipment. We need to find the Jedi here, though. I be I th I'm pretty sure there's one on each planet, so that was our main goal. Zezkai Eel? I don't know who that is, but I guess we need to find him. Maybe that's the Jedi? I don't know. Oh, mm, uh, want to find out about the bounty? Yeah, I guess we could figure out who's putting a bounty on the Jedi, and like that would bring us to the Jedi that's here, right? Well, that means finding either a bounty hunter, a ranking member of the Exchange, or someone willing to talk. None of which are too appealing. Bounty hunters in the Exchange are going to want to shoot you, and someone who is willing to talk is willing to talk to anyone, which means trouble. The bounty is a waste of our efforts. All that matters is the Jedi. Well, the intentions of the thugs of this moon are of no consequence. I guess that name person is the Jedi. Need two beasts at our back when the Sith are enough. I agree. They are nothing more than a distraction. But even a distraction may prove fatal at a critical moment. We must protect him. I do not wish your support, Dark Jedi. Your words only undermine my arguments. If you are so certain of your path, then do what you will, servant of Atris. It makes no difference. It's up to you. There's bound to be someone in the sector willing to spill their guts for a credit or two. Yeah, let's find this Zez Kai. Finding a Jedi or anyone else touched by the Force here will be difficult. The mass of people, the rush of their emotions. It makes detection difficult. The moon is a swarming cloak, a shadow of emotions. It is an effective shield, but if we come near the Jedi, I may be able to see him. You will not come near the Jedi. I will not allow it. You mistake my intentions. I care nothing for this Jedi. But if finding him will speed our journey, then I will aid you in your search. We do not need your assistance, Dark Jedi. Enough. This moon does not ladies ladies let's let's play nice all right any place to begin our search so let us begin well if we're gonna search a moon of a few billion inhabitants for one Jedi that even our own can't sense might as well start as soon as possible all right let's see where this path takes us all right if you have any questions just ask we should be able to leave the ship here as long as we want. No one supervises these landing pads anymore. You! You there! <laughs> uh -oh. What's with you? Letting that piece of junk sink. No one supervises this, huh? <laughs> well, uh. Force persuade. Feel like this guy's a bit savvy, though. We'll try. Yeah. I think it's fine where it is. It'll be fine where it is. Let's go. Yeah, I guess you're Success. Right. And by right, I mean you're wrong. Oh, me he tricked us. Where it is. What you think I'm stupid? I got another ship coming in, and unless you want My hunter is correct. Crushed flat, you better move it. Got it? Uh, we can mm, we can try to lie, but what should we do? Huts told us I could land here. The exchange told us I could land here. 
think the exchange is a bit more prominent here. We'll say that. Yeah. Well, it's the first I've heard of it. Tell you what, let me check it out. If you cleared, then you clear. No trouble. Okay, well, he's going to check on it. Maybe we fucked up here. Okay, we can either threaten to kill him or indirectly threaten to kill him. I think we'll do that. Second option. <laughs> Yeah, you can check, he can check it out, but I'll be sure to let the exchange know that he delayed me. Hmm. Ah, never mind. It's not worth the trouble. You call the so shots, I thought. but this is gonna be trouble. Yes. I can feel it. Master negotiator, let's go. Big brain on this one. Alright. Can we take Kira finally? Add Kira. Yes. I think we'll take... Yeah, double healer. Why not? Kind of a no-brainer. We had a triple... We had a heal squad on us. Overpowered. My life is yours. You gotta stop saying that. It's kind of weird. Yes. The simp, the simp levels are too high with... <laughs> Visca, your life is mine. A little creepy. Okay, um... Yes, yeah, get that back on me. Put it on my body. Alright, let's see what's... See what's going on. I'm excited. See the rest of the city. Keep us trapped in the refugee sector. We can't survive there. You've got us locked in. Are you talking to me? The fuck? Do you see me? <laughs> this guy wants to wants to mess with me. No words. Unwise of him. Jesus. Yep. I like this one. Just a couple of cowards without the stomach for a real fight. Ooh. Yeah, not wise to take me take me up on this. You will regret your decision. Now you will die. Holy shit. <laughs> Just float around. We are overpowered as Give me all of your belongings. Idiot. Thanks for your help. They would have crippled me for sure. Yep. Happy to help. You should probably get out of here, though. Whatever your reasons, thanks. Let's eh. do what I can, you know. Well, let's go this way. You did to those exchange thugs, stranger. Can you spare a few credits? Maybe help another refugee in need.
Mm, side quest, you say? Hmm, okay. Oh, he just needs some money, okay. Five credits? I mean... Sure. Thank you, stranger. I won't forget your kindness. Why did you do such a thing? Such kindnesses will mean nothing. His path is set. Giving him what he has not earned is like pouring sand into his hands. I mean, it's just five credits, Kira. Jesus. Yeah, I can't let others suffer when I can help. And would that be a kindness? What if by surviving another day he brings a greater darkness upon another? Jesus, Kira, the fuck? So cynical. Yeah, does your pessimism really run that deep? The fuck? The force binds all things. The slightest push, the smallest touch, sends echoes throughout life. Even an act of kindness may have more severe repercussions than you know or can see. By giving him something he has not earned, perhaps all you have helped him become is a target. Oh shit, did we doom this guy? Doom this guy, sorry. Seeing another yep. elevated often brings the eyes of others who suffer and perhaps in the end all I don't see how this is my fault though and that is my lesson to you be careful of charity and kindness lest you do more harm with open hands than with a clenched fist I mean she has a point but I still don't think it's my fault that that guy got mugged for his five credits I don't know maybe I'm wrong that's just how I feel, though. <laughs> um... I'll consider what she has to say, because I feel like she is correct on some some level, but I still think it's good to give to people in need, regardless. Good. Mind what I have said. Use your power, but in its proper place. Who are you to say where I should use my power, Kira? Bitch. I said... <laughs> okay. You can explore this area, or what is, what is, where's this go? Is it locked? I have a feeling it's locked. It's not. Okay, it's just a garage. Interesting. Interesting. Seems like a smaller space, so we'll... Oh, hello. Um... I guess we're intrigued by the model of this droid, 30... 32nd module? Okay, I, I guess the um, the the thirty second module specifically had some kind of like malfunction where it explodes a, a lot. <laughs> I don't want to buy anything though, so this is main purpose, I guess. Oh, there's a nice view of the Ibn Hawk. Very cool. Very cool. 
I don't think we need to talk to that guy. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know, maybe we should, because we, we're just trying to find someone to spill the beans on uh, where this Jedi might be. Poor guy struggling with some some eyesight degradation or decomposition. I'm not sure that his sight's going basically. <laughs> Maybe, maybe I can help him in some way. Is, are you alright, dude? Okay, he seems content. Uh, came here for business, I guess? Sort of business am I am? Uh, guess it depends on like what this guy can do for us. Should we get some ship upgrades? Yes, he can change the ID. Uh, let's fucking go. Hmm. Could he? Would he? It's not legal. Frowned upon by government peoples with Bath and Stunners. Bad troubles for this guy. For the right price, though. Okay, we need a blank ID card first. Okay. Alright, sick. Yes, droid? Okay, his predecessor wasn't carelessly destroyed? Okay. Um, I guess what happened to him? I guess he was scrapped by some sort of uh, a mechanical cannibal named Coden. All right. Uh, what would you like? What would you like me to do? I guess. Okay, the droid had some plans that he needs. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious on what the plans are. Sensitive? Well... <laughs> if I have this option, I'm afraid I need to, um... I'm gonna need to know that before we uh, continue on our little business tra transaction here.
need to know what I'm getting myself into, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. There's an option for that. Yep. Maybe you better tell me if you want to see that droid again. How about that? Prototype droid shield. Okay. Yeah. That sounds alright. I'm not really interested in a droid shield. I don't even use shields for myself. So I'm not a pussy. But <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> if you use shields, it's fine. I'm just lazy. And like I feel like I don't really need it. I am playing on easy, so. I think if I was on any other difficulty, I'd be going through shields like crazy. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to find this code in. Yeah, where can I find him? Do you know? All right, thank you. I'll be off. Okay, um, I'm feeling like, yeah, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank y'all for coming around. Eventful stream again. Shout out to Zora for keeping me company. Really helps so much. The stream flew by. <laughs> so much better having someone to talk to. But uh, I get you if you're a lurker. No offense. You're appreciated too. Uh, we'll find someone to raid here. I will be back tomorrow at 11 p.m. EST. If y'all are inter interested in that, seeing more of the strims. See who we have here. Who would like a little bit of, who would like a little, little tiny viz raid. Um, I think we're going to raid Mad, Mad's gas car. Um, see if she's on our list here. Alrete, she is not. Oh. Maybe we'll raid Mario then. She's on our list. Interesting that she wasn't live. Did I re refresh this? I guess I didn't. Never mind. Yeah, she's not even live right now. Mads Gascar was not live. I'm an idiot. <laughs> we'll raid Mario. She's she's cool. She's uh playing Night in the Woods. Hmm. Never seen that, but she's a very nice person. Start the raid up here. Go over there. Give your all your good good vibes, good energy. Ask your best questions, you know. If you can, it's okay. At least say hi, maybe. 